I'm going to finish this sentence and say we got a wonderful stream ahead of us today because we are going to be joined by Bora, otherwise known as Brainoid Games, who has been not only a good friend to me over the last years, but also uh, he is a very talented guy uh, who is great at what he does. And I love that his story is like different to a lot of the other people that we speak to in the way that he works and the experiences that he's gained and the way that he does business. So uh, yeah, looking forward to having a chat with him and for us to get an opportunity to hear about like how how Brainoid makes games, you know? So that would be great to hear. Uh, so we'll be having a chat with him. We'll jump on a voice call with him within the next few minutes. But first off, let's take a moment to one, breathe and drink. And then secondly, we will greet the wonderful Raiders. Thank you. So, we have Palmer the Dog. Thank you. Uh, Palmer's been playing games from our recent Honest Jam, which is uh, a game jam that wrapped up yesterday. We've got 16 submissions to it, which is great. So, uh, next weekend, hopefully next weekend, I'll be having a chance to play through them. I did pop into uh, Arthur's stream earlier, but in the in the with the aim of not seeing all the games before I played them, uh, I, I didn't stick around too much. I kind of saw you were playing Spacey's game. Um, and then I jumped out of there. But I do appreciate you doing that. I hope you've had fun. hope you've enjoyed um, checking out some of the games and the people who made the games. It's been nice to see someone playing them as well. Uh, so, yeah, welcome along. Uh, who have we got in chat? We have the wonderful Spacey. Thank you for the subscription, Spacey. 28 months of melon friendship. I mean, the melon may be one-sided, but it's still still worth saying, right? We have Brainoid Games, we have the Artifacts, hello there, good evening to you. Palmer the Dog, hello, greetings. Book Snell, hello, nice to have you here. We have Coleslaw, hi, hope you're having a nice time with fam. We have Outfrost, hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome, it's Boats as well, all of the people who made games for the jam. Look at this. We have Bao, how you doing? We have Epsi Polym. hi, how you doing? I hope you're doing well, I am alright today. Um. I hear there was some speed running going on and that made me feel I don't I I chose not to think about it too much <laughs> before I d discover an opinion on it. Uh hello scary Harry, how are you today? Uh you have hiccups. I have also just killed a fly with your mouth. <laughs> Did it go is that what caused the hiccups? Did you swallow a fly? Hiccups and downs. It's an emotional day for you today. Indeed, indeed, we don't want that to be brain, do we? All right, so uh, yeah, we, we will be getting started in just a moment. I feel I'll probably need another drink before I get chatting. I've only got this much left. So uh, I'm going to go refill some drink uh, and then we'll get started shortly afterwards. All right, so I say hi to Banana Dog. I won't be long. Okay, we're back in business. I have more drink. A full bottle. That should keep me going while we talk to the beautiful Brainoid. 
So, uh, Brain, I will give you a call now. Uh, you are going to be live on the internet. Please do not swear and talk about unsavory topics such as speedrunning. Here we go. Hi, Mum. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Yeah. Uh, right, uh, chat, can you let me know? Can you hear Brainoid okay? Or do I need to up his volume or anything? Hello, hello. One, two. I think your sound, your levels are looking good to me. Okay. Um, if any anyone let us know if it's not, but otherwise we will probably get started. Rather than doing a live sound check, I think it's Spacey's doing a sound check of her own anyway, by the looks of it, so. Yeah, I know Spacey's sound check line. It stinks here. It stinks here. Yeah. I've I've not witnessed that. Well, well, well. Mine is from Anchorman. Is it the, the arsonist had oddly shaped feet? That's right. Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's a good old uh, it's a good old pronunciation test. Hmm. <laughs> right. Okay. So we're gonna treat this as if I don't talk to you most days, uh, and I'm gonna treat you like a stranger who's just a talented dev. And we'll find out a little bit more about you. So first off, uh, I'll, I'll introduce for anyone who does know how I know Brainoid. So I started uh, learning game dev long ago now, back in Twitch, late 2017 or so. And uh, Brainoid was one of uh, my first helpful viewers uh, who who was keen to kind of uh, be a regular in the stream, who would help me as I was learning Unity, as he was already familiar with those tools. Uh, and it was actually Brainoid who encouraged me to take part in my first ever game jam. Uh, and so it was as a team of three, of me, Brainoid, and a guy called Mike, uh, we took part in a game jam called Alaka Jam and made a game that was beautiful, if not misinterpreted, uh, called One True Love. Uh, and One True Love was a wonderful game. Uh, I'm trying to think where it's probably on my... The, the it... alchemy between us. The, the sorry, the subtitle is important. You've, you've got a very good point there. Uh, yeah, so um, Alaka Jam was a, a new game jam that was kicking off. And it was a good opportunity to to kind of get involved. I'd seen Ludum Dari's done. I think there was a Ludum Dari like the month before Alaka Jam, if I remember correctly. And it was, uh, I was keen to do it, but I didn't feel I really knew enough at that point. But uh, the idea of joining a team with people who do, knew what, uh, do know what they're on about, because uh, Mike was pretty experienced with dev as well. Uh, that gave me the confidence to be like, yeah, okay, let's give it a go. Um, and I think that that is something I would recommend to people who are, who are new or lacking confidence in game jam. And, and, and we joined that jam late, I guess, like they, it was four hours in or something. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a point. It, so it was kind of a bit, it was a bit of a impromptu. Let's do this. Uh, and I think that was back when I was streaming without when I wasn't working a normal job. So it was just like streaming twelve to sixteen hours a day. But um, the great thing about that jam then was that, uh, cause I'll try and get to the point because I am doing an introduction at the moment. So the great thing about that jam is we ended up winning that game jam um, with our team entry, um, which was a, a great experience and a really positive reinforcement step for me to think uh, like, you know, that well, game jams are good or, or making games is great. And I remember one of the things I wanted to get from that was just like, well, I can look how Brainoid has implemented these, these cool new things that I don't really know how to do, like enemies. And it was really useful uh, and really helpful. Um, but thankfully, I didn't need to just uh, steal his code because Brainoid has stuck about since and has been. Sorry, um... sorry to interrupt, but I one thing I don't uh, ever forget uh, from this, that jam is that uh, after the jam, mm -hmm. uh, you went through the whole code <laughs> line by line and commented it. Yes, <laughs> it I did. Great. I did. So uh, yeah, that that hopefully gets the, across what I was just trying to say there. I forgot that I actually did that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was keen to, I was keen to learn and I really wanted to kind of understand how things are done. Uh, cause I was, I felt pretty limited by only being able to do what I'd seen in tutorials and then maybe a little bit more, but, um, yeah, no, that's a good point. Thank you, Brain. But, uh, yeah, uh, fortunately for us, Brain has stuck about since, um, he is a developer in Unity. Um, we have taken part in game jams since we, we tend to pair up because we both have a, a, a bit of a silly creativity side to, to us that also enjoys trying to cram as much as we can into a game as possible in a short duration. Um, 
which is a problem and a blessing. We, we have a great amount of fun uh, trying to make these things happen. Um, but uh, on top of that, uh, Brain Noise has joined me in things such as Monthly Game Dev Challenge, where I've gone on to uh, create video series of trying to learn topics in Unreal Engine. Uh, Brainoid not being familiar with Unreal Engine other than learning it for the sake of being able to take part in game jams with myself, which is a very kind gesture uh, by him. But other than that, he is a developer. He earns his income as a developer making games in Unity. And I'm sure he can tell us a little bit more about it when we get there. But ultimately, he is responsible for prototyping and creating mobile games, um, getting it done quickly, getting it in to a form where they can assess whether or not they want to kind of pursue with this project uh, and that is going to be profitable for a company to kind of put money into it and get it into customers' hands. So, um, yeah, it's a slightly different to the kind of normal stories we have on this uh, on the show where we have uh, someone who's an indie dev who's made a game and put it on Steam. Uh, and hopefully this will show a different side to game dev and a different uh, kind of a faster iteration loop because that's one of the things I think that puts people off a lot. So, first off, Brain, I've talked a lot, so thank you for being patient while I'm just <laughs> giving you a big introduction, but I do feel you deserve it because there's a lot, uh, in terms of my, uh, where I am now, I think um, you've you've often played a big part of it, so I do thank I you guess, for I that. I guess we all got used to it, I mean, you talking, it's okay, <laughs> we're happy, don't worry about it. It is the usual, it is the usual, but okay, so let, let's... Um, let, let's start from from the very beginning then when Bren, Brainoid uh, was was yeah. yay high so, um, the background uh, yeah to, to, to an extent more more so as in uh, has yeah, game sure. dev okay. always been a thing for you or is it something that you found over time it, it was it was actually uh, I mean m my parents and friends are also talking about it uh, everywhere like because like uh when i was seven i was making games as well uh, on, in you know, this software called click and play um maybe someone some of you know about it uh it, it's the uh it's the early version of that software that uh, windy uses oh uh, click team fusion yes click team fusion so oh click, click with a k yeah, for, yes, first ever software that m you can make games. In. Uh, yeah, it, it it was it was weird. Like, I was making games uh, oh, uh, when I was ten, eleven, and then uh, I told my parents I want to be a game developer. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I knew it all mm. the time. So, uh, uh, did someone introduce you to it, by the way, or or was it just something you you came across naturally? Uh, no one introduced me actually, but uh, I, I was playing games all the time, and my my um grandfather, uh, my mother's father, uh, mm. was a pilot, and uh, he was a good pilot, uh, uh, higher up in the hierarchy, and he was going uh, to Tokyo a lot. <laughs> I don't know why back then. And he he brought me a lot of Nintendos and everything when when no one in Turkey had had those uh, computers here. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. I, I grew up playing them. Um, yeah, I guess that's that's a big big uh, thing in my development. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then I studied computer engineering uh, because th there were no good uh, branches in Turkey that that studies. Uh, game development so is yeah. is this an 18 ish now or is this younger uh 18 ish yeah. uh, 18 right okay cool cool uh <laughs> did you find you had any opportunity to to like learn and study like computer science or, or game dev ish stuff younger than that or not really on yeah. the curriculum yeah i started with cubasic <laughs> uh i was i was in middle school i guess mm. uh, and i just uh, read it on internet and, and wanted to try it and and like when I was 12 uh, 13 I was modding games okay uh, yeah what sort of games were you modding uh, like red alert <laughs> nice nice uh, yeah. I, I I remember oh, opening okay. yeah yeah uh, I was well I was gonna say I didn't quite do modding but I did um used the hammer level editor to kind of make my own levels oh of course and... the radiant quake 3 uh, <laughs> 
additive. But yeah, yeah. Uh, that I've that was one of the things I got most sick. Like, I just loved it. Um, yeah, it, very engrossing when you you get to be the creative one instead of just the consumer, isn't it? I I remember I I modeled the um the complex that we were living in uh in Radiant the Quake Three editor. <laughs> Do you know what? I did the same? I did my house in the well, street. I wanted it to be yeah. like a a Counter Strike map. That's uh, why we participate <laughs> together. Yeah, yeah, we have the same <laughs> the same idea. Sorry. Okay, so you went to study uh, like computer engineering. You were saying, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, in a university in Turkey. Uh, that was. Uh, 2008 that I graduated. Okay. Yeah. Is that like a three-year degree? Um, similar four. to over here? Four. Four. Okay. And that was just typical uh, engineering, like programming and uh, computer chemistry architecture and, stuff. And, Ooh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> chemistry as well. Yeah, chemistry in the first year or the following year as well. I, I don't remember that anymore. Is that, is that where PopLab came from, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> your roots in chemistry. No man, I, I really, I really hate chemistry. To be honest, okay. My, my father's work involves with chemistry, and I, and I hate it. I, I don't do that. <laughs> mm. That's fair. That's fair. So uh, you graduated then? Um, yeah. With that. So then I, I started working in, in this in a game studio. Uh, I, I actually uh, started as an intern and kept uh, working there. Mm -hmm. uh, Is this local to you? Yes, yeah. yes, it's it's a well known local. Uh, back then, it was the like maybe the only game studio in Turkey. Oh wow! Uh, actually, it had some success. I mean, like of course, yeah, there was, yeah, uh, yeah, plenty. But uh, so it's it's called uh, your technologies yogurt, <laughs> Yo yogurt technologies. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, they they want to like uh, shout. We are Turkish. Uh, like. Uh, the world should know about uh, yogurt, that, that yogurt is Turkish. Uh, that's why, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, well, to be honest, I didn't know there was, a, there was an affiliation between the two. So, uh, Yeah, well, well, there's this discussion everywhere on the internet that if yogurt is a Greece thing or a Greek thing or... or oh, thing. right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's boiling back down to that, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Always goes back to that. Yeah. Uh, but... but it's, but, it's not a big quarrel. Yeah, by the by, uh, with that, with that um, internship sort of out of interest, uh, was that something that was like competitive and the fact that you were good allowed you to get that position, do you feel? Or or was it just, did you apply and you got it and you it, it felt like it, it was not like easy, but I'm just trying to gauge uh, the, how accessible was getting a place in industry for you. Yeah, I, I, had, I had a friend that knows that I, I was like a good of a programmer enough there <laughs> so so yeah i i told him i need some internship uh yeah it, it does help said, why it not definitely <laughs> helps yeah and like my my path uh into game dev has definitely uh had a massive kick based on who i know um yeah that's uh, why we participate together <laughs> <laughs> we just say that about everything but no you're, you're right it's, it doesn't take away from obviously you have to be decent in what you do to to actually fill that role and, and grow in that role as you i'm sure you've done as a an individual um but it, it definitely is a, a a repeat story isn't it with people who, who get into industry quite often yeah. it's a referral of type uh so i have to say this uh Back then, Flash was still popular. Yes, <laughs> maybe the most popular thing. Uh, and I, I, I don't know why. I, I don't remember. I learned Swish, uh, which is a uh, fake Flash. Oh right, okay. Has, <laughs> what's that? Swish like S W S I S uh, S A H H Yeah, H. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, H. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, it, their scripting languages were very similar, but uh, then they introduced ActionScript 3. And mm. uh, my friend in Yogurt Technologies uh, told me that they, they're going to switch to using ActionScript 3. I should learn that mm. uh, before, maybe before or during the internship. Yeah. And it, it took me like one week, of course. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's super similar to Java, and I know Java. and. Uh, it was easy. And then while I was working there, uh, we worked on a Java racing game. Uh, and then we realized, yeah, we need to uh, switch to Flash because everything is Flash. At the moment. Yeah. And uh, see, I, I always thought ActionScript was part of Flash, but is it because I, I, but I, I, I never did any games in those. So it's, it's separate, is it? 
Uh, what do you mean separate? Well, you were saying that you were, you learned Action Script for this, but then they're uh, moving over we, to Flash. I, I said Action Script three. Ah, okay. Flash was using two. Uh, right. Okay, that makes more sense. I was going to say I always thought they were related, but then when you said yeah. okay, that's cool. Sorry. So continue. Yeah. So Action Script three uh, was more of a uh, object oriented. Uh, has a had an object oriented approach to it. So okay. uh, yeah, it, it, it was uh, much more fun. To be honest, uh, I I really miss <laughs> Action Script. It, it wasn't a powerful language, but it was super uh, high level and easy to read and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we worked on a adventure game on Flash. Uh, it was called Jezeri, I think it's a, a Turkish inventor. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then we decided to, I, I don't know why, we decided to add some multiplayer aspects to it and just uh, convert the project to a multiplayer game. Okay. Uh, actually, your technologies were, were it, it had a, a agency side of it that worked with clients like uh, Coca-Cola or, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Make websites for them. Uh, that was the uh, money earning side of, uh, of the company. And we were the researchers. Yeah, uh, we were yeah. making games and uh, doing whatever we want. It, it was fun, really. So, so that sorry, with sorry. the websites and that you're making, that would they be like game integration, or would it just purely be like we do websites to get the money, and then we do what we want with the money we earned, in a sense? Yeah, kind of. I I honestly don't know what they were doing. We were <laughs> two separate teams. Okay, okay, that works. That works. But I, I know I know when um, like my studio uh, where I work was growing initially at the start, they ended up having to do the same that. You know, they took on client work, which wasn't game dev, just to pay the bills. And then whenever uh -huh. they you do that for three months and then they get a month or so working on their own game where they're not getting income and then repeat. It's, it's yeah, it, it's not very easy. It's not very profitable, I guess, to to experiment or, or make a game from the ground up sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah. And and it, it was fun to have that freedom. Uh, yeah. It, it, it was a nice experience. Uh, then our boss uh, came one day and uh, told us, Okay, guys, uh, we're making a 3D virtual world, uh, and uh, there were no 3D engines in, in Flash back then. There were only some uh, pre-beta ones that that they were just experimenting, and we wrote a, a 3D engine <laughs> in Flash and made a 3D virtual world. But uh, there were there were some uh, differences. I, I didn't believe in the project, uh, to be honest, and uh, I left the company. Okay, okay. Uh, but was it a good experience, at least? Do you feel that, yes, like, trying to... Yes. That's a challenging environment, right? Is having to make something... Like, these days, I feel we're kind of blessed with those tools, right? Where we have everything done for us already. Yeah. Now, I, by the way, the main reason I left was that we started to, started the project uh, is it, uh, to the isometric uh, thing. Uh, and yeah. then uh they they decided to switch the project to 3d uh, like in the, in we, we were six months into it mm -hmm. and i said let's start uh, with this isometric thing so so we can just m move on then we can switch and they switched to 3d and they switched the engine again mm -hmm. uh they re rewrote the engine again I, these are like after I left the company. Yeah, yeah. I, I kept following them. I, I'm happy I left at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. So, yeah, uh, so what, what, so, what did leaving in, entail for you then? Just stopping or did you have something else lined up? No, I, I, I didn't have anything else. And, uh, and then I actually uh, went went to military service, I guess. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, what, what, yeah. Let's skip that part. Yeah, and, <laughs> sure. Uh, and then I, I, I kept uh, contact with the uh, friend, friends in, in in your technologies and and uh, we we started making games together actually for Facebook and stuff uh, still mm. using Action Script three yeah yeah uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah making games for Facebook man it, it was a different era really yeah yeah no I remember that that was the day of like Farmville and stuff right well that was one yeah, of the more e successful even ones. even before that that mm. where, where you you were uh poking each other <laughs> <laughs> Poke. yeah wow uh, that that's a game but yeah it, it's it's fun though because it was definitely a kind of constrained environment right uh to begin yeah. with um it is. I, I remember I made a game called uh word machine uh mm -hmm. it, it had callers in it 
Yeah. Uh, so imagine you have some uh, letters on the board at, at, with tiles, uh, and the the board is scrolling, and you try to find words in it. <laughs> ah, right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So it it's like fun. a word search, a moving word search in a sense. Yes, yeah. I, I made I made it uh, and it released it and didn't look look at it for like two months or something. Then mm. uh, one day I uh, I received an email that uh, the server is throwing out errors or something. So I went and checked uh, the SQL server. Mm. my my scan. And then I realized uh, lots of people are playing it and mm. I, I don't know how but uh, it somehow uh, got to the Mexicans. <laughs> All the Mexicans oh right so it was playing. massive in the Mexican market was it? Yeah and then I found some articles on the internet that are talking about the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, accidental was, mini success eh? Yeah some sort of word of mouth I guess I still don't know how that happened. Yeah yeah and that well that was pre the day the era of like just some big youtuber plays it right yes yes <laughs> uh, uh, the influ influencers of that time were the bloggers i guess yeah 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 definitely uh yeah then then <laughs> we realized not realized but uh that that technology uh just uh, became available uh that you could make uh mobile applications, mobile games with Flash. <laughs> then yeah. uh, I started making Spellbreakers. Spellbreakers? I remember Spellbreakers. That was a, another word game, right? Yes. It's okay. A word game. So, <laughs> the first time you read it, it sounds like an RPG game. That, yeah, that yeah. Spells <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> so, but I remember you coming up with this. Is that, did you work on it twice? Or was this, when you're talking about now, was this as recent as when you first started working on this? Sorry, that uh, sentence wasn't clear. I guess I'm saying is I remember you working on that. So have we got to that point in a story or, or did you start on that and come no, back to No, I never this? worked on it on stream or anything. Uh, it was it was really it's it's an old. old uh, I, I think it was the um, you when you started running those trailers at the bottom of your screen. Uh, yes, your yes. Stream. Maybe that. that's where I'm thinking that I, I remember you working on it. But OK, it was a bit uh, quite a while ago then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. After that, what happened is that uh, me and uh, some of my friends, uh, we had an idea and <laughs> uh, we we received an investment for that idea and we went to San Francisco. <laughs> I, I, just just like that. Just like that. So uh, what was the idea? Uh, so it, it, it's called whatabout.com. Uh, I should write it, but it's not online anymore. It's not. Okay. Um, so it, it means what you think about, right? Uh, okay. So there's this search bar when you uh, enter the website, and you, for example, you type Michael Jackson, and you press enter, and you see uh, everyone, what everyone thinks about Michael Jackson, uh, what they, what their thoughts about. Him. Right. And then you can you can filter the results like uh, what do uh, people living in Russia uh, between uh, age between uh, ah, eighteen and thirty five yeah eighteen and thirty five and uh, who rated Justin Bieber only one star out of five yeah so that that's interesting not just from a like a curious like social point of view of what we want to find out but I'd imagine that would be super valuable for uh, companies right. Uh, yes. that's uh, that's the the kind of I guess the money I the thing that could generate money from that indeed indeed mm. yeah so you, you... Was... oh go on no 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 uh, it, it was a great idea but you were asking something I was just gonna say so was it easy for you to just uh, well one why did you need to go to San Francisco for it uh, and then two was it easy for you to to move out there and, and what was that experience like I guess uh, back then, the networking and and the uh, marketing was uh, really based there. Mm. Now I don't think it's there. Right. Okay. <laughs> you can do it everywhere. Uh, and this this is by the way, two thousand and twelve. Okay. And thirteen. Yeah, around ten years ago then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it was going okay, and uh, I really like San Fran, by the way. Uh, 
I, I don't like U US overall, but like some bigger other bigger cities that I've been to. Mm. Uh, but San Fran was a little different. I don't know. It, it's it's more European somehow to me. Uh, smaller, or I don't know what. It's just the feel, exactly. at least you got from yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be a yeah. combination of things, can't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, then I've been to there again for, uh, three or four years ago for, for uh, Gamescom. Mm. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so that project got cancelled because uh, so we, we received the investment from, from a Turkish uh, company. Uh, actually has some uh, connections with the government here. Uh, right. It's called uh, TTNet and it's a telecommunication company. Uh, their their CEO uh, got fired uh, because of some parallel gov government stuff. Uh, right, <laughs> weird. Uh, and the new CEO didn't give us the rest of our money that we were planning to use on marketing. And the the project uh, would be only successful if we had the, that money on marketing because it's it's yeah. only marketing that yeah. we need. Um, oh, that's a so it's a bit unfortunate. Yeah. It's a bit out of your hands, then. Do you feel? Yeah, I I think so. And uh, X Wing saying in chat that site can't be reached. Yes, that's because they didn't give the funding for it to be finished. X Wing, keep up with the story. That was the idea. Wow, I think she's just rubbing it in there. But um, no, okay, it's a little unfortunate. But at the same time, I guess did it cost you and your friends anything? Oh, was it? No. Okay, no, so that that's so that's not so bad, you know. I mean, obviously, it costs someone money, but um, you do hear about these startup companies going out there trying to, uh, you know, and they invest a lot of their own money to be the startup. So yeah. um, it's nice that you got to have that experience in in a relatively risk low risk kind of environment. I'd say. Yeah. By the way, because of this, uh, I I stopped working on Spellbreakers. I didn't tell you that. Ah, right. Uh, so that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and then I, I returned back to Istanbul and we, we kept working on, on this project uh, for one year, I guess. Mm. Yeah. And in 2015, I, I released Spellbreakers uh, and then realized uh, Flesh is dying uh, and <laughs> uh, I have to switch to Unity. Everyone's using Unity. Right. So was that the first time of you uh, touching Unity then? Uh, yes. Mm, okay. Okay. And also, I noticed you were saying we. Uh, so it was this still working with some of your friends on Spellbreakers? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, uh, some of my friends from Yort. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. So that that. Uh, so we're talking what? 2013, 14? Uh, yeah, 15 now. 2015. Okay, and that's when you first started with Unity. Uh, and uh, I guess, uh, how was that then for you? Was it was it a thing where once you got into it, you're like, oh, this is actually changing a lot of things? Or was it just another tool for you to, to kind of do the same thing? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't tell you the the whole story, uh, probably, because I, I, I used like five different engines mm. <laughs> uh, when I... When I, I I guess between 2008 and 15, let's say. Yeah. Uh, and then I, I, it was it was it was easy. It was really easy. And, and Unity was different as well <laughs> back then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it it wasn't the same. Uh, Probably had um, less there, but uh, sometimes having less there can it can allow you to focus on what you want to do a bit. I guess. Indeed, right? indeed. Yes. Yes. Definitely. It was easier to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, compared to now. Hmm. Uh, the first project I did was I, I tried to port uh, the soccer game that I made in uh, Flash uh, to to uh, Unity. <laughs> That's the touch touch soccer thing. Oh yeah, yeah, I do remember yeah. you showing that. Yeah, I can send you a video if you like. Uh, yeah, but by all means, if you've got it handy, do uh, drop it yeah, in the chat it, and we'll open it, it up. It's easy. Uh, touch soccer. So well, well, what was your objective during this time then? Was it to continue trying to make your own games and make a success out of yourselves then in, in that sense, right? Yes, yes, indeed. And uh, at that point, it, it was a weird time in my life that we moved to uh, where I live right now uh, with uh, five friends. Mm. Uh, and 
and we were living a di different life, <laughs> partying a lot. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, and in the meantime, I was trying to learn Unity. So, uh, so did they move together with you uh, with the intention of uh, like being part? Of, like, were you all in on the project to make games, or was it just no, a group of men? Right. Were, okay. They were musicians. <laughs> One of them is a bar last week. Yeah. 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 Okay, so it was just a group of friends who moved closely, right? I didn't know whether it was like, oh, let's get together and uh, uh, make stuff together, but no. Okay, okay. Um, so that that probably uh, opened up a, a bit of a well, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming here, but did it make it a bit more of a, a maybe a less strict time for you in your your kind of game development journey, or, or did you still manage to balance it well? Not at all. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I love working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah uh i can't stop working so yeah i i kept working and yeah got better at unity in time and then uh again with with the help of uh my friends i i the, the ones i i made uh spell breakers with mm. uh we released color mill yeah <laughs> yeah that was a fun game as well yeah I color mill does look nice is that in the bundle of uh of the games that of yours that I've got, no, I mean it, I don't even know if if if, if it's work if it works. Yeah, I, I don't have the code base. If yeah, most. fair enough. And also, I guess when you made them with other people, they they're not. Uh, I guess are they not under Brainoid Games, te or would they still no, no, be under? No, it, it was Brainoid Games. The Brainoid, it, 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 I didn't come up with the name Brainoid right away. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> It's it's just uh, uh, the other friends left. <laughs> okay, so Bra Brainoid was the group name of you and your friends' company. Yes. And you're yes. the last member. <laughs> that yeah. Okay, yeah. that, that works. I, I, I thought you came up with your own idea, you know? <laughs> no, no. The, 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 the server uh, made me the host when, when everyone left. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that. Okay. Uh, what... what um, at what point did people leave and how did that go? Was it like a, 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 a good experience, like a normal, like it's run its end or did oh, people well, have? Well, I, I have more uh, financial freedom than them. And then they, they had to <laughs> focus on work. Mm. And okay, uh, that makes sense. One of them uh, I got employed in Peak Games and the other in Gram Games. They're both successful. Um, mobile companies yeah mobile game dev companies yeah uh both got acquired by zynga <laughs> oh really yeah they that's the with the little bulldog icon isn't it zynga if i remember yeah. like they, they're a big player in the mobile game it's interesting that they went into mobile games as well though um do you think that just suited the type of games that you guys were uh inter i guess it's similar to the like the new grounds the kind of browser based games isn't it they're kind yeah. of short quick um experiences uh or make sometimes uh, addictive little things I'm, that... I'm i'm more of a congregate guy than new grounds by the way oh i to be honest i don't know much of the difference uh, <laughs> other than that they existed but i'll take yeah, it they, they are they're just similar websites i'm just kidding yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i made a game uh, and released in congregate by the way <laughs> yeah is congregate still is still active these days I guess so, because I, I... it is, but it's a flash game. I don't know. I don't think it it it'll work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'd have to use it in some uh, old browser or something. I guess is it to still play flash stuff? Yeah. Yeah. But um. Okay. Yeah, cool. So uh, yeah. You so you were saying that it, it was almost a case that there was less pressure on you to make money from what you were doing than compared to the others, and they they went for routes that were kind of safe. Yeah. For them. They, yeah. They said. They still help as a like indies. <laughs> yeah. The, the actual uh, meaning of indies uh, is well, you work and uh, side work, right? Right, right. <laughs> well, it's it's often it's is how it is, right? Nowadays, yeah, <laughs> it's changing nowadays. That's why I said the literal meaning is. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it didn't work, of course. <laughs> mm. uh, it doesn't work always. Um, and I was the only one left. I didn't complain much. You know, I'm a chill guy. Yeah. And I, 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 I don't mind much. Just distracted <laughs> yourself with more work, probably, I'd imagine. Yes. Yeah, yes. The, the usual. Course. The usual. <laughs>
Okay, so uh, uh, where, where are we at now then? So I, I guess this is... Um, you started working in, in Unity at this point. You got to a point where you're working on your own. This is when I started uh, making some games and started to uh, send them to uh, publishers. Mm. I, I made a list of publishers, uh, publisher emails, and started shooting them. <laughs> no, okay, that's that's nice. So, so did you did you just do that off your own initiative, or did you get any advice on like that might be a yeah, good that, idea? That's actually sorry. That's actually after I I finished my framework using PopLab. Ah, Pop right. PopLab Pop was the framework. Yeah, uh, I do remember. Yeah project right so for, but for anyone that framework project what brain means is that he wanted to create essentially like we do with the jam template almost just like yeah. he makes his own code base the the generic stuff that he knows is gonna be usable in like 10 uh or sorry nine out of ten of the games he's gonna make um things like menus you know uh th these little tools that you can use and you can customize quickly rather than building them up from the ground again and that gives you a tool set then to not have to solve the same problems every time you start a new project. Uh, and, and that, I guess, feeds into the, the rapid kind of development side of um, what, you, what you ended up going forward to do. So, uh, yeah, you, you started sending out, so you made PopLab, uh, and was it that that you sent out to a list of publishers then, was it? Yes. Uh, I didn't send PopLab, actually. I, I tried to uh, market PopLab on my own. Um, right. Okay. Uh, and then I decided I shouldn't do that anymore because I mean, <laughs> well, and, it's, it's, it's really, you need a huge, huge luck for that. Yeah. I was going to say, well, how, how did you approach trying to do it on your own? Cause I think marketing is definitely something that, um, is worth talking about because you, you, people will be, pe there's people who won't invest any money in marketing. Uh, it makes sense cause they don't have money. They don't have any money from the game yet, you know? So it, it's difficult to, to justify, for right? The, for the mobile market, uh, the guerrilla guerrilla marketing is <laughs> not working really. I mean, uh, like y you go post on Reddit, or uh, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't work. So yeah, you you need to invest some money. I I didn't invest much, but again, you you see the retention numbers and you understand that that it's not gonna work. So no, yeah, that's it. That's interesting. And I also think, I guess, on that from that perspective, the uh, you, there are definitely people who can self-market by put, putting stuff on Reddit and getting followings and devlogs, but that really does tend to suit these bigger games, doesn't it? Where there's more of a narrative or personality or, or yes. like a, a, an identity that people want to like get behind this brand. Whereas mobile games don't really, so, well, not saying yours specifically, but mobile games are sometimes pretty like trashy or a bit kind of cheap and nasty. They're, they're not. They're not these wholesome identity. Uh, oh, games with massive identity cheap games mm. yeah I yeah well, i i just yeah I, I think they're almost they're there to get you to download it play it and then that experience you might have fun five times and that's the whole purpose of the game like as long as you did it those five times then the game's a success let's say so uh, i i think it's definitely it, it's an interesting thing i'd not thought about the the concept of self-marketing based on what type of game you're making but um, so you, yeah. you you realized that it wasn't uh, too successful to try and market mobile games alone, then, right? Yep. Uh, it's 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 silly, really. <laughs> uh, then then I decided I, I need to find some publishers and get help from them. Yeah. Okay. So because everyone uh, at some point everyone gets stuck in in the idea of like. Uh, but then they'll get some share of my revenue and what have. It's it's incomparable. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. silly. And also, that's a, not a bad problem to have because that means you are getting revenue. <laughs> yeah, that's that's business. <laughs> yes, right? indeed. It's like those who stream on Twitch and then go like, "Oh my gosh, Twitch, take a cut." Some of them. It's just like there's services that allow you to reach more people, and that like if that came yeah, for free, yeah. then it'd be you'd be questioning someone's going to exploit you it. Can, you can instead you can try to uh, code your own Twitch and <laughs> stream there and it, see if people will watch it. Watch you. There, yeah, right? yeah, it's a very similar conceptually, isn't it? So um, okay, so you've done your framework uh, through developing Pop uh, Lab, and then you, you'd realize that you want to try and reach out to different publishers. So how did that go for you? I actually, sorry, I, I, I forgot about that, but I actually uh, tried one more self-publishing. Uh, okay. Uh, what was that? <laughs> You'll remember the game. Uh, Windscapes. 
<laughs> oh, the, the uh, I forgot about that pa pa paper plane thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I put your head on it once in you a video. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Some of the videos I've got from Brain <laughs> when he was developing games, to, taking a picture of my face from like the one or two pictures that used to exist of me on the internet before. <laughs> <laughs> just dropping it into the middle of his games. That, that was a key. I liked that game though. But, yes, um, it, it was a, I don't know. I mean, it, it's sometimes too random. Maybe it was too early. <laughs> mm, mm. Yeah. Uh, we, we'll get into that. Sometimes it's too early or it's too late. And maybe you should try it again later. Yeah. Do you just feel what in terms of the, the traction that it'll get from people? Uh, the mo yeah, and I guess that that's a little bit. Would you say that's something that's kind of m more true to say about mobile games rather than full games? Then right, that it's uh, you, you can re try and re-release it, and it might be a better I time think, for it. Or do you I think, think it's true? It for applies, both? I think it applies for both, but uh, mm. more for mobile games. Yes, and mm. like eight percent to twenty percent probably. Yeah, no, no that, that's fair. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, what I was going to say. Sorry. Uh, so I was asking you, how did it go when you tried reaching out to publishers? Uh, sorry, can, can you ask that again? Sorry. Yes. Uh, so how did it go after you tried reaching out to publishers? Did you hear back from them or, or was it a, a case that you had yeah, to keep trying? Yeah, or? like I, I asked, first of all, I tried the bigger ones and all of them answered me. So I didn't go for the rest. <laughs> that uh, makes yeah, sense. It's, it's, yeah, they, they all liked what they saw uh, from me. So, yeah. So uh, what, what did you send just in case anyone else is interested in, in this sort of kind of process? What was your, how, what did you include in your email or whatever that you reached out to? Uh, the, right now, they, they just want you to be direct and send a few videos of it and uh the if you have a test version a prototype mm. uh yeah send an apk yeah yeah so this uh, is for a particular game not like a general would you like to work with me uh generally speaking or it was more about here's this game that i'm developing are you interested in publishing it yes definitely right, the yeah, latter. And, uh, right. then they return to you like saying uh yeah, we would definitely want to test it. Uh, so, and they they tell you uh, what their plan is, and they they invite you to a voice chat, and they tell you about their uh, contract and everything. Mm. Uh, it's just I don't know. It's not that important in that uh, situation that that they, because they tell you, uh, you're gonna get uh, this revenue share if if game is successful I, it's really difficult to get that game to that success so yeah uh yeah just just move on with it don't don't question uh that contract i'd say right uh, yeah so it's hard to kind of look at it and think am i getting a good deal here just because yeah. it's very much i'd imagine the uh from what you just said that like the the revenue share is going to be based on how how successful something is and as as you've already alluded to with mobile games sometimes they, they it just won't, it might be a fine game, but it just doesn't catch and the publisher's not going to keep trying to push that one game. They'll move on to a new thing, right? Yeah, yeah. indeed. Uh, the first game I tried was Paul Voltstar. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I really liked that. <laughs> it was a weird game and I drew everything on it. Uh, 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 is that in here? Oh, I'm looking at this folder. Uh, no, I, don't I don't see it. So. That makes no, me no, sad. No, it's not, it's not, it's not. Uh, I, I should have. You a... might have a video or something. Yeah, probably. Uh, uh, unlisted. I sh I, I'll find it. I'm getting Olympics results at the moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I have like six different uh, accounts on YouTube that I have gameplay videos. <laughs> so it, it's it's very confusing. Sorry, they, that's why it takes some time. No, 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 I, don't. I, that's I'm I sure I have a video of it. Uh, whatever. Uh, we we can go on. And yeah, yeah. We can come back to it and uh, we'll drop a link later and have a little look. So, uh, Paul Voltstar was the first one. Yes. Uh, and uh, it was really exciting that it, it was my first publisher that I'm uh, connecting with. Uh, mm. And yeah, it, it, it was easy and they were really friendly. And uh, then I moved on. That game didn't work, of course. <laughs> mm. uh, 
uh, and uh, I moved on. I I uh, I actually sent that game to another publisher, uh, and that publisher returned with it. Uh, yeah, this is great, but uh, would you be interested in making an idle game for us? They said. <laughs> We like your game, but do you want to do, yeah, can you just do something else for us? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I made um, the, what what was it? Theater the one? Idle Parkour game. Oh, the Idle, oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you took them up on that pretty much then, right? So the Idle Parkour game, sorry, yep. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so uh, with Here's the... video. With the oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, with the first, so the first publisher you're saying you you tried it and it wasn't successful. So do you get anything out of that, or not? No, no. Uh, nowadays they they uh, offer some money, uh, but not much. Uh, that that doesn't uh, even worth to like mention it. Yeah, it's not like a a wage that is that you would work for normal, right? So. But it's at least there's some tiny bit of compensation these days, as you said. It's better than the nothing. Mm -hmm. But um, that's because that's the thing. In a way, for them, it's it's low risk as well, right? They try it, they put it out. It's not interested. Then you did all the work, and they 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 only have to pay out if it, if they want to use it. So it's um, yeah, it, it does feel a little in their favor financially, at least. So with this game, it, it's it's weird. Uh, so they tested it. And the result was okay, but uh, not good enough because this was, this was a big publisher as well. So these big publishers are just going for the top 10 and the rest of it, they, they don't want it. Right. Uh, so if the uh, CPI cost per install is like uh, higher than $0.2, uh, mm. uh, they, they're not interested in it. Right. Uh, and that's that's really difficult, and and also you need a, a, a high retention, like forty percent, fifty percent. Right, right. Retention they, being like they, not they, uninstalling they, it, is it or? Uh, returning on day one. Right. Okay. Uh, and then they look for day three and day seven as well. Mm. Uh, depending on the game, some games they look for day thirty as well. But yeah. Yeah, uh, the so, genre really changed that. Me metrics and telemetry, and that is quite a big old deal. Then I guess uh, in this line, right? That's how they. That's pretty much all they got to denote success, and it, it's a sensible, it's yes. a sensible thing. But it does come with that. I guess it's not very romantic, uh, like we we have with uh, with other games. We kind of have that romantic element of it of like this is the, the game I've always imagined making, and we're gonna make it work and. Uh, it's it's a little bit more like statistically this doesn't look like it's going to be a good investment so we're going to kill it right yes yeah so uh i think uh, I... this is important though uh after after they, they asked for another game uh and another idle game and i started making it and in the meantime i, I released that game right uh, the mm. other one uh the parkour game and i, I started to receive emails uh, because uh, publishers see it and they, they tell me they want I, I received like 12 different 12 different publishers did you uh, did you did they see this after you published it with someone then did you say yes it? oh so it still yes. has your name in that on it in in a sense it's, uh, yeah I, I, I all they always release in your name then you transfer it if the game gets like Yes, the uh, potential. Ah, okay, interesting. So people saw it before, like early, I guess, right? Yeah, it's not they, like they it was a big it. success, and then they say, "Oh, Brain Night made this." Yeah, they write it in the uh, contract. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Assassinate. Um, sorry, I was reading the chat. It's not. So, so yeah, uh, I replied most of them, and then uh, one. Chinese company uh, told me they want to test it. Yeah, I said why not? I, I mean, uh, I, I I was honest and I I'll, I told them uh, this company tested it and uh, they weren't happy with the results. And mm. they were a smaller company, so they were okay with it. Yeah. Oh, with uh, the results, so they had different standards, I guess, on what they yes. accept or CPI. Or is it CPI you said? Yes. Cost yeah, per yeah. install. Yeah. And yeah. Because by the way, the, the retentions were uh, really good with that game. Uh, they were high, but but CPIs were uh, high as well. So 
uh, and CPI being uh, they they watch an ad and uh, they watch the full ad or, or click the ad and install the game. Right. Right. Yeah. So uh, it's it's not only uh, the the gameplay of the game and uh, people having fun playing it. Uh, it's the look of the game. Uh, if if it uh, calls the user to the action, like yeah, to install yeah. it. Right? So, so the so, video is important. Yeah, to be clear to chat, because this is something I used to get confused with as well before. So when we're talking about the CPU, it's not like they've got the game already. This is an advert for it being shown in the middle of another product. Uh, and how many people who get shown the advert for that game actually are interested in it. Um, or actually take an action, uh, a call to action or whatever you refer to that thing as. So, um, yeah, it's it's interesting that sometimes your your game is judged without anyone actually playing it, right? It's just how uh, potentially good does it look. Um, so I guess the, the first impressions, and me and you, I guess with game jams, we often struggle with this, is sometimes we add so many features, but the player doesn't know they exist, right? And I guess in, in this sort of market, you don't want to hide too much of the quality uh you you want to make sure that the some of the hook or the the kind of what makes it great is immediately uh obvious i guess right <laughs> yes yes mm. uh so they they were testing it and i was uh making another game for the uh, actual publisher that i was uh talking with uh so they remember they asked me to make another game yeah yeah uh, uh, so, so and also well yeah. just quickly on this so do, idle pack or if they say they don't want it is that back your property to do what you want with i guess right yes, unless they yes, say definitely. we want it you can keep giving it to other people or self-publish it or whatever yes okay so that that's quite nice in that sense it's not like you're only signing over rights to it if they agree to it it's good enough and i guess at that point you would be getting a revenue share right yeah yeah, yeah. okay that's that sounds um that, that's good there they're not really claiming the rights for your prototypes. That never happens. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so I'm gonna send another video. Yeah, by all means. Uh, I I started working on this, oh. and I actually finished it, and they were testing it. So th this was the start of Brainoid and Idle Games, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I remember at point you felt like you were just making a lot of idle games. And if we remember the pole vaulting game, uh, we'll, we'll get a video to it as one point later. The pole vaulting game wasn't really, an, it was a very active game, you know? Uh, it was like a skill-based platformer in a very quirky, weird way. Um, so, uh, yeah, to go, to go to making these types of games where you were no longer designing them, um, did you feel you had much design input on these games? or? Yeah, actually, like 70% of the design was still me. Okay, so they basically say, we want a, an idle game where you're racing toy cars, and then you have to yeah, do and the they, rest. They were giving feedback, and I was changing uh, the game accord according to the feedback, but again, in my own way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's nice to hear. That's nice to hear that they still felt an element of freedom and uh, design, I yeah, guess. Otherwise, I wouldn't work in that industry i guess <laughs> yeah it, it, it used to be um sorry in the meantime i'm i'm just searching some folders <laughs> oh no that, that's okay that's okay um so yeah generally just to recap where we're at then so first off brain sent off the poll uh the poll voting game out to publishers hoping to get that uh, published it, it didn't work out for that one but one uh, publisher was like hey could you make us this idle game instead so he made the parkour pub uh, game uh, however that publisher ended up not kind of investing in it but sent it and uh, other publishers were interested in it and they saw it while it was uh, so I guess it was was it just adverts they saw or was it other was it like they saw the game itself no the game itself mm, okay okay because they have these uh people that are just checking the new games uh <laughs> they're just released weird yeah there's yeah a games tester know. not not a, qu a qa type of games tester literally a games tester yeah I, I guess we should name it differently but i i don't know i don't have a name for it <laughs> yeah yeah i'm sure there's a fancy name somewhere for it indeed uh, <laughs> uh yeah so uh what happened next i'm thinking sorry uh so 
that, that the same thing happened again. I they didn't uh, like the result of that game, and I sent uh, the racing idle game to to another publisher as well because they they messaged me. Mm, okay. And so similar that pattern. Was, yeah. That was that was the actual uh, publisher I was working uh, for the last one and a half year. Nice. Okay. Uh, but that wasn't the start of my my relationship with them. Uh, I mean, the uh, the longer contract with them. Right. Uh, so they tested the game. Uh, they didn't like the result as well and moved on. And <laughs> <laughs> at that time, Chinese were uh, happy with the result and uh, asked me to make four more levels. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I made them. I they 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 wanted to to me to add uh rewarded videos and everything i i worked like a, a month on it right uh maybe a little more and <laughs> then they tested it uh for for a month uh and <laughs> they didn't like the results and they didn't pay pay me anything oh man uh, yeah. yeah so that, that that definitely highlights the kind of the, the risk factor, I guess. Uh, and it Indeed. does, how you said yeah. earlier, I think, how did you phrase it, that you're less, um, the term you use basically to say that you you effectively have uh, money to live off already, in a sense, right? So it's not, if financially, things... Financially, financially... Financially stable, uh, free, uh, no, yeah, what did you say? Um, financially, said, financial freedom, that was it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so you have financial freedom, uh, which I guess really makes this type of work I can imagine yeah. the stress if if this was to to pay for food for someone and they work for a month and then it turns out oh no one wants it uh, no, that that I could be suggest... difficult. Hmm. Uh, I don't I don't recommend this uh, work style to everyone. Mm. But do you enjoy it though? Uh, yes, uh, I love working and this this needs hard work, uh, but uh, also some freedom. Uh, like mm. we talked about yeah uh, yeah so yeah this was the fourth fourth game i found it ah was it just dropped in chat yes here we go you get to ah oh, this is it <laughs> i forgot the character looked like that <laughs> <laughs> i remember you making a tutorial though uh <laughs> <the hair. laughs> it's great so you, you you click in order to put the pole vault down and then you vault yourself forward it was almost like a, a weird kind of uh, getting over it, uh, flappy yes. bird combo, you know? Indeed. <laughs> this, this game was fun to make, really. Uh... Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> Snakes, I forgot you dad custom poles. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh dear! I was like, "What's the snake?" Oh, crikey! That's that's your new power vaulting device. I I even had not safe for work uh, skins <laughs> for the uh, vault, <laughs> and I, I I almost sent that uh, version to to the publisher. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's a good tip on things to not do, probably right. <laughs> but hey, who uh, knows? Maybe a different market. <laughs> uh, no, Pom, I didn't use splines. Uh, that's just. Uh, the skeletal to the skeletal rig thing in, in Unity. Well, I'm gl I'm glad we got to check out the Pole Vault Star game. <laughs> I've not seen it for a long time, and that brought back memories. I remember testing that on stream. Uh, so so to summarize, uh, because we've been doing this for for an hour now. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, after uh, a short time, I. I uh, I got a call back from that uh, publisher and they told me they actually want to work with me and they have an offer uh, because mm. they liked my game and uh, uh, my communication with them. Uh, yeah. Back then when, when but they, they, go, they, they just go by the stats though, right? So it, it was just purely that it didn't look viable statistically for them. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they, they, sa they said they want to uh, test test not, not test me like uh but uh test this contract thing just for a month like a trial it, yeah if mm. they're happy with with the with the work ethics and everything uh they want to extend the contract and they did hmm nice okay 
And and that that has been extend, extended to effectively what you're doing now, right? Sorry. Uh, that has been extended up until this point, pretty much. Yes. Then. Yes. Uh, and I can also talk about uh, how how it ended. Mm. Uh, yeah. So uh, they told me uh, I'm the only person that they uh, they worked this long and didn't release a game. So this means. Uh, I'm not doing anything wrong, but <laughs> there's something wrong with them. Uh, they also t told me this, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I, I did anything uh, wrong. I, I, I did whatever they asked and yeah. I, I some good games as well. So uh, th I guess that's something important to, to address here. So while you're working, so this was like, was this 18 months or so, did you say, or? Uh, oh. Yes. Yeah. 18. So, oh, eighteen months. Uh, these games. These aren't like, unlike some of the other games we've we've seen. Uh, I, I mean, around fifty games. Right, around fifty games over a year and a half. That's a lot, by the way. That's uh, <laughs> almost one a month, right? Uh, but um, it's, it's it's really a big experience if it's nothing else. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think what's interesting here as well, if anyone's not familiar in chat, so these aren't all games that Brain is like inventing. And sending, hey, do you like my game? Because uh, effectively, you would just though the way this company was set up, if I remember correctly, how you described something before, is that you would be sent briefs effectively of like this is the game idea, and then you make that right. Yeah, they they are calling them specs. Specs, that's uh, the one. Yeah, specifications. Yeah, specifications. And I had uh, some freedom in there as well. They 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 were. Uh, they were actually asking me to write my own specs as well, often mm. and work on my own thing. So uh, I don't, I don't lose my soul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, that, they, that's they, they good. Were respecting that. Yes, it is good. Um, it's good, but it, it also means that. Um, well, I was going to say before, you know, if it's always them just giving you the ideas and and none of them have been successful, then it's like it's a bit out of your control. Um, but I guess if, uh, if you still had some input, I, it just, I think it just shows that the market is very, um, there's so many parameters, uh, that play a role in whether a game ends up being yeah. successful or not. And I guess from a company point of view, you can't blame them thinking we got to change something up because they need yeah, to be, and make they are money too, as well. They're, they're, uh, in the state that they're, uh, a little corporate -y and also boutique as well. So they're stuck in between that thing uh, mm. it's 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 really difficult to you, you're not that uh you don't they don't have this department thing uh but also uh it, it's it's really hard to explain and you can understand that uh this this could fail but uh i mean it, it's also a matter of luck as well so mm. right um <clears throat> yeah this is it so what's your situation now then? And uh, what and what are you hoping for looking ahead? Well, I I am still uh, considering their offer. They offered me uh, to work internally mm. uh, in a, in a team they are uh, getting together right now. Uh, they asked me for a resume. <laughs> I was like, "What the hell? I was working for you for like <laughs> not for you, but with you uh, yeah. for the last eighteen months." <laughs> but that's the like corporate yeah, uh, side say. of things, right? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. they they send it send, send it to to another department and they don't know about me. Okay, mm. yeah. Uh, so yeah. they offered you to work as part of an internal team working on a, a more longer term project, was it? Uh, yeah, they actually, it's weird. They, they don't know <laughs> how exactly this new team will work. So, uh, it's a little vague, they said, uh, and I sent my resume. I prepared the resume after all these years. <laughs> I didn't need one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I questioned myself, uh, preparing a resume at the age of 34. Okay. Uh, no, I, I see where you're coming from. It, it, yes, it, yes. it almost feels like yeah, because I didn't for for the last ten years or anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But at the same time, you, you're looking after yourself through doing it. If if that's what you need to do to at least have this as an option, then um, yeah, I, I can see why there's there's an element of should I even be doing this. But um, right, so at the moment, you're you're considering that option still. Uh, what would be the alternative options for you? Uh, so they they are still talking about that option. 
uh, they're based in San Fran actually, but also have a headquarters in Berlin. But mm. I really don't want to move from here uh, because it's not a dream job or anything, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, if it was like a, a, a company that, that I'd really love to work for, yeah, uh, I could, uh, I could move my location yeah uh, no I, I get where you're coming from you you don't want to uproot your life for uh what you don't know is going to be something that you love doing you know yeah by the way berlin and san fran they are the uh, i mean I, i've been to both and i love both they're mm. the, my, they're my two favorites out of like uh 30 countries i've visited oh nice okay it's interesting that the, that the offices are based there as well yeah well, i went uh i've been to berlin a couple of times but we went uh with twitch was in berlin last time we went as yes. well but um yeah I, i've had a nice time right there i have i can't say i've like lived life there but um in the times that i have had there i, th I thought it's a great place to be i mean you could if you had friends there i i know i'm sure <laughs> mm. yeah yeah but I, um, i've been to sorry no, no, I was just going to, so uh, it's it's either that or do you think you go down the route of sending out games to publishers again and uh, going through that iteration again? Uh, I, I really want to take a breath <laughs> mm. uh, because like uh, imagine for for 18 months I, I made uh, more <laughs> 50 than 50 games. games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah uh, and it was tiring. I, I think it, I, I'm uh, grateful that the contract ended. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel it could have been burning out quite soon otherwise? Uh, yeah, it, it's really a hard to burn me. Mm. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I, I I could live, I could experience something different. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want that. Uh, I, I really am considering their offer, but also maybe taking a break and maybe focusing on uh, whatever Kettenberg or whatever I want for 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 a duration. Yeah, I mean, if if you've got the the freedom to do so, then I think that's a really nice idea as well. Yeah, and I didn't spend uh, a lot of money that I I uh, got from from the publisher. Yeah, I and also Canvas is a great game. So I mean, we've got a great foundation already for it. But no, I think it, it might do you good as well. It, like as long as you know you're not putting your your living situation at risk. And it sounds to me like you know you've you've got an opportunity where you could take, uh, I don't know, like a year to do what you want to do. Um, mm -hmm. And you never know how long that uh, how how often that opportunity comes up, especially like with relationships and stuff like that. Like it can all kind of feed into these freedoms. Uh, as we're older, those uh, I've personally found it's especially more true when you're in like a nine to five job. But uh, even without, I think that those freedoms are, are quite scarce. And so like I, I took one of them in a sense when I start, I stopped uh, working and, and was trying to transition to yep. a, a developer role. Right. Um, and, you know, sometimes it, it won't pay. Like I was preparing to do a web dev as well, because uh, if it wasn't for contacts, it would have been hard for me to yeah, get a game. Those dev were dark times. Man. <laughs> I, I mean, the, the web dev times. I, yeah. I, I literally stopped watching you. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I don't blame you. Uh, web dev and game dev, two very different things. <laughs> but yeah. it's I, I basically, I, cu I couldn't do that forever, though, you know? And I, I didn't really have financial freedom. I I had, after breaking up from a relationship, I had my deposit back from a house, which was, I don't know, around £8,000. Um, but, yeah, it was about trying to make that stretch. You know, I, so if, if I finished my year or, or however long it was trying to self-teach, and I didn't have an opportunity to get a job, then it'd be it, that for me. I'm not someone who, who uh, is very good at living riskily, but uh, yeah, I'm very relieved. I can say that I didn't end up having to go down web dev. And I, I don't want to accept it, but I really dislike web dev uh, more than I think. <laughs> I, I don't want to admit it, but yeah, <laughs> that's okay. That's you're you're allowed to you're allowed to dislike that side of things. And if you're not into my dentist website making, then that's totally fine. Oh, that, that woman, I, I cannot forget. <laughs> I know the one you mean. <laughs> the smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly the one you mean. They've changed their website now as well, by the way. Uh, oh. So you can no longer find it either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, anyway okay besides so uh, that sounds exciting and i think from i i think either of those options will be a nice change for you um 
if you were to take up the the opportunity that might be with them uh or if you were to uh, go on your own endeavor i think you're doing it on your own endeavor you'd probably enjoy more uh, by the way i told them i i want to work remotely and if they're okay they will just contact me ah nice okay yeah cool cool so it sounds like you got some options which is great uh, and thank you for sharing the brainoid story uh normally when we we ask a, a person so what's your story like that's that that's the first kind of five ten minute question at the start of the thing and then we go on and talk about particular games uh but uh, what we're going to be doing today i'm going to take a short break in a moment uh give me and brainoid a, a chance to to stop talking for a moment and get a drink or whatever but i've got a list of these wonderful games here uh which is a, a bunch of some of the uh games that brain has, has made during the kind of windows that we were talking about more recently um that 18 months by the way yeah yeah so this is out of the 50 or so and and something to remember like all of these are meant to be mobile games so he's had to port some of them that were possible to be ported over to pc there may be little kinks in that with them that, that i don't know whether brain has managed to thoroughly test and make sure they work perfectly on pc so if things go wrong it's not a problem we are just trying to get uh, an idea of the type of games about that i'll tell you something so mm -hmm. uh these builds i make uh for my own uh not not my own like uh i i built these to uh, capture videos for the ads actually ah. they, they, so uh and they ask for one one eighty to uh, thirteen fifty resolution. Yeah. Um, they they need some wider stuff, I guess. Uh, that that's better for visuals. Yeah, you see yeah. More of the scene or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, so to do that, uh, I I uh, rotate my second monitor. Uh, it, it's rotatable one. Yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah. Yeah, and and switch it to portrait mode and play the game there. Mm. I, it doesn't work in, in landscape mode actually, but uh, it'll probably resize the game uh, into one eighty to one eighty to see one one eighty to one eighty. Okay, ten eighty to ten eighty. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's no Let's problem. See. Yeah, we'll we'll see how they go. That sounds good to me. Yep. But okay, so uh, while we take this little uh, break. Break. Yes, I'd like to say thank you, chat. I have kind of half been ignoring you as always as I do with these. Um, but um, if you have any questions uh, about this kind of um, this route of game dev of uh, trying to get mobile games published and somewhat of a making, it's almost like a, a very fleshed out prototype because you don't want to invest like three months into one game or six months into one game and then hope it does so if you have any questions around this sort of thing you feel free to to write it in the chat tag my name in it we'll have a look when we get back and uh, we can ask any of those questions to brainoid but uh, we'll take a few minutes um uh, brain if you if you need longer just when you're back you're back and I'll, I'll start having a look through some of the games but um uh yeah we will resume in maybe five minutes or so all righty uh until then i'll be right back thank you
Yeah. It stinks here. Let's get the gist. <laughs> Mario ran down with me downstairs. Eating his food, food. <laughs> I made the same uh, sexy voice. I was successful with that. Uh, I, I didn't, I didn't call it actually, Pomo did, that's why, that's why I say that, I don't think it's that sexy. Though I can take you to a date, John. John, I like your messages a lot. I pay. So, fun fact, I went to Disney World uh, in Orlando and I didn't visit Elisha and she got mad. But I, I didn't have like time for it. Like, we were waking up. I, I took my sister there. Uh, we were like, we were waking up at 7 a.m. <laughs> and uh, going to the parks and then uh, getting back to the hotel wasted uh, going back to sleep immediately and waking up at 7 a.m. again <laughs> I could I don't know the only thing I could do that I, I could invite her to Kennedy Space Center <laughs> boring I don't know how many times she saw it. Yeah, I, I owe her one. Like, she should come to Istanbul and uh, she shouldn't visit me. <laughs> uh, that's how we can get even. Yeah, that too. But, I mean... That's too much to ask, so I didn't even try it. Alicia, I pay. Let's go. Hello, we're back. Hello. Hello, I'm hello. Holding the fort. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for chat for being entertained. Uh, you're not getting your Welsh commands. If you're really upset, I can redeem the points. But during the, these streams, I do upload them to YouTube as well. And so to have random minutes of Welsh. Stop. Yeah, I remember the times we were speaking three different, different <laughs> languages at the same time. Oh, who was it? It would, it would be me, you, and... Benjo? Yeah, it's Hungarian as well, wouldn't it? Brain has been courting Elisha while I was gone. Yeah. El Elisha's not even in chat, is she? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was... So, John uh, mentioned Disney World, and I, I told them I went to Disney World and didn't visit Elisha. Oh, yes, I do remember that. But and don't worry. And I... I 
I, I told them I think uh, I owe her uh, that, like, that if if she visits Istanbul, if she comes to Istanbul, she shouldn't visit me, and then we're even. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully next time we're all near, me and her and be in the same place, and we can have a nice uh, catch up. It will be good. But uh, right, okay. Without further ado, uh, first off, yeah, thank you. It, it was really interesting, and a lot of this stuff, like I've not had a an in depth conversation with Brainode about this. Like he explained some of the stuff to me if we catch up, but. Um, yeah, I, I, I do find it interesting because I think it's very different to that whole indie dev dream, you know, of I'm going to make this really nice idea I have for a game and just everyone will, it, it'll really take off and I'll be rich and famous. It's a very different kind of uh, approach, but it's also a lot more realistic. Um, it may not be as, mind you, it's probably more profitable because a lot of these games that people dream up, they never sell it. <laughs> they, they sell like one or two copies, you know? So... Yeah. Um, I don't think the risk factor is unique to to the mobile kind of rapid development kind of process uh, that we've gone through. Uh, se several games got really close, by the way. It, mm. they, some of them got the uh, CPI but didn't get the retention. Some of them had super high retention but didn't have enough re uh, CPI. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Ah, uh, well, it's it's good to hear that at least like. So you feel that you were closer uh, and then that also means in in a, in a slightly different time of the year or if the parameters are just slightly different then you could have got a bit of money back from some of these titles as well right yeah it's even down to that uh the type of ads like the, you you realize the ads on the internet changes the, the uh flow of ads for example they once had harder than you think once uh comparing with mom and dad's <laughs> things like it I, I used to, yeah there was a chain of them before where it was just yeah. loads of these scenarios we got a slide to release some like toxic poison or something on the bad person or you have a choice you yeah. know between like helping the person or, or, or not helping them I remember yeah. these they all look the same these adverts but they weren't all the same game you know <laughs> nowadays they, they're always saying uh, the first three seconds is the most important they, they even have that three second uh, levers uh, statistics in the oh really uh, panel yeah 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 okay that's that's cool um right uh let's uh, we we can chat a little bit more while we're playing i'm sure but i'm just gonna go through we're gonna do a taster if i can i'll do a taster of all of them but i need to be cautious of time a little bit as well so yeah it's opened like a this that, that looks fine to me yeah you can just have a bit of my annoying background uh, okay i, oh, I added a tutorial uh in this game after this version but uh, i'll tell you how it yeah works. yeah so but, oh, am i right to say it's all going to be touch based as well right unfortunately no no that's fine it means i can keep one hand here i can even not speak not, drink. you're not gonna use mind <laughs> no also. i mean keyboard <laughs> <laughs> okay tap on a cover to start so this looks like what like kind of action uh like hide behind things and then uh, and shoot is it we'll we'll have a look i guess so let's i'll, I'll jump over to this one Okay, so I click and hold, and then I aim mm. by m moving left or... Oh, uh, okay, so I come out of the cover. I'm trying to work out which way changes... Is it just a, a change in direction that moves me from one to the other? Yeah. Okay, so if I want to take a... Mm, click, hold, and then aim through going to the side. And release. <laughs> Oh, it's literally like a direction. No, hang on. Hmm. It also switches targets, I guess. Right. So if I release now, I should shoot, right? Or I, have I got to go down? Because there's like take cover and aim. When you're aiming, you should release, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I thought I did that once and it, it didn't. So that's my mistake. So if I go take cover. Ah, t do you know what? I didn't realize that. I apologize. I thought I was like aiming if I want to, where I want to go. Okay, that that makes a lot more sense now. Okay, apologies, I was struggling a bit. As Brainoid said, the tutorials and that. Oh, now there's enemies. Okay, so now I, I wait for him to take a shoot shot. Yeah, I mean this that feels was a good. Great game, I think. Yeah, I, I really loved this game, and I I thought it had potential. Come on, peep out, peep out. Ah, oh, <laughs> cheeky chat. Uh, I also implement this feature that uh, if you hit them uh, right after they peep out, <laughs> it's headshot. Oh, nice. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Okay. And then do we shoot the audience to finish, right? <laughs> okay. Almost. 
Okay, so we're aiming the bottom. We need to go on this. Go on. Yes. I got my 12 stars. That is one of the most weird wheels, though, Brain. <laughs> <laughs> the movement of it. I understand why it can be consistent. Okay, good. We got 17 stars. Excellent. Yeah, I wanted to have a, a troll one, I guess. Uh, Grumpy Game Dev, I'm ignoring your lewd comments. Uh oh. Oh, uh, crikey, I came out at the wrong time. Try and avoid enemy arrows. Thanks for the top tip. <laughs> oh, so it's a new, it's a new, okay. Oh, there's, I need to look at those options next time we're out as well. Nice. Oh, yeah, damn it. I got, I, I got hit. It might be the same level, but the floor just changes, actually. Yeah, just the colors <laughs> that I, I really want to make so uh, it's easier when, when you're capturing. Um... Oh, to get you have some variants. color var variations, yeah, 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 yeah. So it could just be all on the same. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm playing it. I'm trying to shoot him while he's there, which is a mistake. Uh, yeah, you could get like lots of footage off even the same level, but it looks different, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 that makes sense. Okay, the wheel, let's get it this time. <laughs> yeah, I guess this How? is the game. I mean, you, you, yeah, yeah, you get your upgrades. And when you're uh, peeping out of the cover, uh, you get a tiny slow motion, and that, that's the upgrade. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, we'll, we'll fully go into that, and I get a bit more health. Maybe I can take two shots now. So when I... It's a tiny bit upgrade, and it's all point. Oh, yeah, I saw it. I did notice it. As it was moving, you could see that it went slow. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but by the way, this game is easier on mobile, for sure. <laughs> yeah. No, I, once I know, it, you basically click and hold. You, you go down, you drag down to shoot, and you drag up to hide. It, it, it controls fine now. Uh, I think it's just a case that when I started, because uh, you can, you have that wheel. Of, oh, it doesn't show me the wheel anymore. Right, now, so now it's obviously, like, because I've been taught that, right? <laughs> but when I had that wheel up, I, I could see the where I was dragging, and it was confusing me as if I was aiming that way. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's cool. Uh, okay, so this was Archery Strike. Uh, I, I like that one. That was cool. Um, let's have a, a look at... Actually, should we uh, chat? You get to vote. You get to choose a, a title. I was going to go through alphabetic, but we'll give chat a bit of input if they want. Um, here are the names. Can I make the... I, I don't think I can make it bigger, can I? No, it just... I can zoom, but the... <laughs> <laughs> the text is the same size, does it? Oh, no, I don't know if it does. What's the shortcut to magnifier on Windows? Windows M? No, no. it's not. That gets rid of everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have warned you <laughs> because I tried that too. Okay. Oh, I didn't plan for this. All right. Wait there. There you go, chat. Hopefully we'll get a list again. So we're, we're only play a of them no i i plan on playing them more i just didn't want to i give ch uh, chat a chance to have some input on if they wanted to see one first and then i'll carry on going through them uh, i don't know yeah. how do i exit magnify <laughs> mind control no is it, is that, it's open down here oh my gosh i don't know how to get to it <laughs> okay we're back alive i don't know if it magnified for everyone else as well okay idol <laughs> theater uh, and Trinky Car has been said. Okay, we'll check out those two games and then I'll, I'll keep going through them. So Idol Theatre next. I think I've seen bits of Idol Theatre. Yeah, of course. So this is an Idol game. And... By the way, Idol Theatre was uh, really good in, in uh, retention. Uh, okay. And, and, and the CPI was good as well. And this is the first game I made for them. Ah, okay. And... Okay. Uh, they tried again uh, a year later, and <laughs> the CPI was worse. So that that proves that uh, the the um, the attention or the attraction to the games change over the years. Yeah, yeah. This, I think there's definitely probably styles of games that people get into, and fashion and trends and that, right? Yeah. So lovely music first off on this. So hello, boss. I was expecting you. We desperately need your help to grow our business. Wonderful. Let's start. This is where our customers come from. Click on the subway to see its upgrades. Now, let's upgrade subway flyers to increase the customer frequency. Doing some guerrilla marketing might attract some people. Alright. Good job. Oh, look, our first customer is already here. 
Oh, look at that little waddling friend. <laughs> oh, we got two. Now, here is where our customers buy their tickets to the shows. Okay. You can upgrade uh, many facilities in your building. Ticket booth is only one of them. Let's click on it and see the upgrades. So, uh, upgrade the service speed to give your customer a Okay, so you can pay them. Or we can also do a more expensive ticket type. Okay, so that means they go faster. That means we don't want to have as long as a queue, I guess, right? Uh, click on the hall to see the upgrades in the hall. Oh, wow. Okay, so what have we got in here? Let's scroll all the way down to capacity. Let's add more seats. Oh, we added one more seat. Oh, look, our show is starting. Let's watch it together. Yes, what it is. It's it's Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> or Shrek. <laughs> Shrek's in Stein. <laughs> Great show. When the show ends, you earn reputation points from each customer who watched it. One last thing. Pick a name for our theatre. All right, we did it. All right, that's it for now. We believe in you, boss. All right, so how do I move around? Do I just drag? Yeah, because it's mobile, right? So it's our theater. We've got uh, customers here. Have we got money to upgrade? We've got 375. But the upgrade for... Okay, tickets for the backstage... Pa There's two booths. Oh, you can hire... So oh, wow, that's a lot. 100k. All right, let's yeah. just make sure that they can get... A more expensive ticket, is it? So we'll make more money from that, I'm guessing. Okay, actually, we need to do faster speed as well, I'm, I'm guessing, based on that. Because we've got a bit of a queue already. Uh, subway, we can upgrade our flyers. The show's starting. By the oh. sound of it. Oh, oh, did it just finish? There was clapping. <laughs> yeah, it finished again. Uh, oh, how, so how did you get, like, the music for this game? Uh... That's a public domain one. Hmm. It's nice and very suitable, right? Yeah, it it immediately reminds me of theaters <laughs> <laughs> when I hear it. Frankenstein's on. Is there variance in the show's brain? Uh, can you click on the hole and ah. switch to tab? Ah, okay. Oh yeah, this was uh, one of the. There's lots of so the shows in there. So Frankenstein, a doctor obsessed with bringing the dead back to life, creates a monster. Cinderella. Okay, so we need 1.44k to unlock it. Oh, look at this. Dracula, Romeo and Juliet. So most of them are uh, public domain as well, but so some are, <laughs> you know, Master of the Emulets and Tiger Prince. I changed their name. Yeah, yeah, to be similar. Yeah, no, that's and cool. Cinderella is uh, a little tricky as well because Disney bought it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking there. Okay, current shows Frankenstein, ticket prices, this. There's so much on the. I've not really played many of these idle games, so I'm, I'm trying to think about how I want to. Oh, I just upgraded the light accidentally. How much money? You got 800. Uh, okay, better seating keeps them happier. They get more reputation. Add more seats. So it's basically like we, we look at getting money or more money uh, or reputation, I guess, right? At the moment, money is probably good. So let's get another and seat in there. To, to unlock to unlock the uh, the other shows, you need upgrades for for lighting and everything. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a point. So what did it say? Re uh, reputation needed to stage level needed. So if we go to this, is there ah uh, light? Is it this? Yeah. So we upgrade. Have you got to keep upgrading it till you get to the next level? Yeah. Okay, good. We're on our I way. Think you can even hold it. I don't remember. Mm. But you don't have that much money, so. <laughs> no. Well, at the moment, it feels like, well, we've got a steady flow of people coming in, considering we've only got six seats. So, is there any mechanic with, like, if there's they can't get in and there's too many people, then they leave and stuff? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I didn't want it to be that complex. Yeah, yeah, no, no that, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, when it comes to casual games, uh, you always want to keep them simple. Like, there's almost like no way to lose in a way. It's just... Uh, yeah. Do it as, as much as you... However you, you just, want. 
you, you just want to see the progress. Yeah, uh, yeah, the numbers going up, right? Yeah, the grinding. Yeah, you can hold. Okay, we're a bit away. So I guess the, the joy of this is we could leave this on one side, right? <laughs> and we just keep going, uh, <laughs> idle yes. away. Sure. But um, so the famous actor Lou Johnman joins your theatre. <gasps> you understand? Oh, so the star shop. Okay, so how does this work? You spend our star points. Reputation gain is important at the beginning. So let's I can purchase that. Okay, so we purchase that with. So you get stars based on the stars who are in your show, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's up here. So this means we get more reputation per thing, I think, now, possibly. Before it was 0.2, it's still 0.2. I'm not too sure how it directly it works. But, uh, so reputation is like your level, and then you have two types of currency. All right. Yeah, you can... Oh, we got lights. We got lights. Yeah, you can make it run <laughs> on the side, like you said. So uh, you uh, it's a shame about the... I can't mute... Is it uh, mute I, in uh, options? I don't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, this cheats option in here as well. Right, great. I'll leave it over here. We can come back in a. Oh, hang on, what's happening? Uh, you have enough money to unlock toilets. Well, lucky us. <laughs> uh oh, have I broke it? Oh no, it's up here. I see. Sorry. Um, let's have some hygiene habits. This is where it's. <laughs> okay, great. Oh my gosh, we've got toilets. <laughs> we have enough money and levels to unlock our new show. Ah. <gasps> oh. Oh, wonderful. Do we actually have that much money? Oh, we do. Okay. Oh, we get to see a whole different show now. Look at this. Uh, thank you, Gladback, for answering as well. Uh, no more peeing in the sink. <laughs> it got stuck uh, in the previous show, I guess. It's going to get fixed in the next one. Probably. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's no problem. We'll just go and look at the toilets for now, shall we? <laughs> oh, it's, it's playing right now. So oh. Huh? <gasps> Oh, it was that midnight. There was a clock on the wall. It's Cinderella, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Right, I'm gonna. I'll leave it on the side since we can't lose, and then I'll come back to it in a bit. So uh, the other game we got uh, was Shrinky Car. One game I'm gonna definitely check out is Sumo Arms because I remember you working on that. Uh -huh. <laughs> it looks hilarious. That's, that's hilarious. Yeah. 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 Okay. So Shrinky Car. Let's have a look how Shrinky Car works since that was one of the uh, suggestions from earlier. Drag to resize your car. Oh, I can make it. <gasps> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we gotta make it small, wide, small. Oh. Okay, it takes a bit to get used to on, uh, on mouse. The perspective as well. Oh, oh, wow! Poor match. Okay, okay. This is we get to claim. This is classic. These sort of games. It's like, why do I claim? What do I? Uh, because you always need to get stuff. You all right? Okay. So this just makes us go. Oh crikey! Hang on. Right, we need to go. Ah, uh, down. Oh, where am I? how do I? Oh, I go under that. Do I? Okay, and then. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Oh, you go. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing enough going down here. Is it fun? Is it like things like this are instant? Like you, there's a mechanic and you just learn it and you get used to playing it. So down, middle. I guess I only had five or six level in this game. I don't remember it. Really. <laughs> it's such a silly idea. I love it. <laughs> it's, that's what I really like. It's kind of like, I guess there's I, 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 almost a similarity between these games and like game jams in a way, right? You're We're... playing the ending wrong, by the way. Say that again. The ending. You're playing it wrong. Oh, yeah. I'm not understanding what... Am I, right, am I meant to make myself into that shape? Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that would make more sense. That's why it says poor match. Ah, <laughs> uh, it does make sense. And it, like, visually, it makes sense as well. It does go with it. But uh, to be honest, when it's happening fast and you avoid everything else, yeah. it's one of those things, yeah. isn't it, yeah, where yeah. your mind doesn't... Oh, I need to see. Bonus levels. <laughs> Tiny cat. Wide cat. Oh, wow. It goes faster as well than that bit. You've really got to go in and out, in and out, in and out. Yeah. 
But yeah, it kind of has that idea, uh, like I was saying, like of game jam games in a way, right? Where it's uh, yeah. it's like a little cute mechanic that that is the game, and it's an original mechanic. Uh, By and the I way, think... usually it's like a game jam to me because I, when I receive the spec, it doesn't tell me that I, I need to make this game. I I just uh brainstorm and uh, find this idea out of that spec okay okay you know that is nice so it's like a, a theme announcement right yeah usually they're saying like they want to uh combine two different games that are uh on the store already <laughs> then i i think what i need to do i only just realized you do you go slower based on how wide the car is or does it just speed up as you go through the level uh no, if you're white, uh, you can just smash things. Yeah. yeah. If you're big enough. I mean, it changes your mass, but doesn't change your speed, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. All right, well, we, we got an idea of Shrinky Car. We're going to have a little check back because uh, good news. We've got Brian McMellon. Melon on the... <laughs> it's definitely not any uh, similar to any other names. So you go to Star Shop. We've got 10 of them, and then you can choose what we want. Custom speed, concession earnings... Toilet earnings, uh, just to customer speed, that's fine by me. Uh, we can probably, let's look at our shows. What do we need? Reputation by the way, for... uh, they, they are all uh, modified names of celebrities. Like yeah. Lou, jo Lou Johnman was Hugh Jackman. Yes. Uh, so it's like I'm um, back on, oh, what game was it? Was it the old um, international superstar soccer where they couldn't quite get the the rights for the footballers, so they just used all of the footballers' names who were just slightly yeah, off? They all do that except FIFA, right? Yes, yes. Um, we we probably need a few more things for for this. So stage you level need to, needed. You in need that. to upgrade some stuff so you yeah. earn more money. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, like more seats in that as well. We should probably do. I could probably afford a second ticket person. Can I? No. 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 Oh, that's the end. That's end game level. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, upgrade that. I think we get more money. And also subway flyers. Oh yeah, to get more people coming, right? All right. Uh, oh yeah, we got loads of money. That's fine. That's fine. We we got billboards down there now. Everything's good. Can we upgrade <laughs> your toilet for you? There you go. Slightly better toilet. Ah, look at this. One beautiful toilet and one lovely sink. Lots of space in there. All right, we'll leave that going. Uh, right, let's let's keep going through the games. Hello, Messi Coda. Uh, the the jam was uh, uh, successful. Yeah, we had sixteen entries. Uh, yeah, I had a, a good time. I wasn't like the game wasn't uh, what I'd call like normally my jam standard. Or what I mean by standard, I guess, is like trying to make a, a really complex mechanics, uh, have a title screen, music, sounds, story, all of that jazz. I just focused on um, some mechanics, uh, and for me, it was really good. Um, so, I enjoyed. fun fact, fun fact, I use the same uh, framework I use for mobile games uh, in the jam game. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and it, it took nine days. Uh, and I mostly, I make this game, these games in nine days as well, these mobile games. So it's almost <laughs> like, are you going to put the, are you going to give uh, <laughs> Pali and Tolo uh, a go on the, to a publisher? Do it, Brain. <laughs> Get in out there. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, how are you doing, Messi? It's nice to see you. Okay, uh, one, we're gonna. One more defense. Yeah, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and spam through them all now. If anyone in chat is particularly excited for one, feel free to so, shout out. One more defense but... was my spec. Ah, oh, <laughs> I remember this. Yes, this this was really fun to play. Hold on. Oh, you click in the direction that you want to go. Oh, look at that! It's like a gravity gun. Okay, so do they stay on the floor? They're trying to steal my gems. Yeah, it's a tower defense. Okay. Oh, this shows me what I'm shooting up the top. Come back! Yeah. <laughs> That's so satisfying. How it comes trickling back. The little thieves! I love that idea that it's like a slope. Uh, and that they, when you kill them, it'll yeah. drop. And also it's timing. Uh, and okay, so we let's try and get a bomb with... Oh, they, oh, they run into some of the mines you said. That's... No! Oh, oh gosh. Do they run for the gems if they're mid? Oh, they do as well. Uh, the, uh, this one's so engaging immediately. Like, the, this stress level's going for me already. <laughs> In a good way. Uh, no! Really like Give my gem! No! Oh, disco ball! <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, I managed to ice one, but now I've got to shoot him before he steals it. No! No! Okay, I got the one, but not the other. We iced one. You leave my gems alone, you little weird people. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, so at the moment, I guess one of the things I need to do is like look at the... <laughs> look at the what I'm doing next, so a wall next. So can I just block him? Yeah, okay, just slam down like that. Okay, standard bomb. Yeah, that'll do. This guy, is he is he bugged? Yeah, I guess. Might be able to bomb him or something. Uh-oh. <laughs> we might be stuck here now. Maybe you often get nukes. Maybe you can kill it. You've also used that dance effect in that other office game, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Sure. It's, it's from Mixamo. <laughs> Everything is from Mixamo. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah, we'll. Uh, everything you get. I will just restart it. <laughs> It'd probably be easier than us just watching that. Yeah, yeah. All I right. Mean, you can also move on. It doesn't change much in the next level. So. What oh, if I'm enjoying it now? <laughs> what are the chances? Oh, well, you probably know. Don't answer. It spoils it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, lo I love. I love. The concept is great, though. Uh, it, it like long term. It, it, this, I guess, this kind of describes really well what I was saying about mobile games earlier. Is that sometimes it can just be instant. You get it. You play it. You're you're figuring out the mechanics. You work out how it feels. You work out optimal ways to. Oh, I could be using this, or how can I improve? Uh, and it may not be something that you 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 play for weeks. But the, if it can give you that instant little bit of a, like, I'm on a bus and this distracted me for 20 minutes, then it, that, that does his job as well. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Okay. Uh, I remember you working on that one. That is Bomber Defense. Curveball. There used to be a, a game called uh, uh, a, a Flash-based Curveball yes, game, which I loved. One. We used to, uh, like, come across the ball. It was like 3D Curveball and it'd bounce off the walls. <gasps> yeah, it's very similar. And I, I've not played this one of yours. Yeah, so that was the spec, actually. The, <gasps> I the used to spec love I this game. Terrible. Oh, mate, I, I genuinely adored this game. We used to play it all the time in uni. In the computer labs, if people really weren't in the mood to do work, yeah. you'd just see them on Curveball. Yeah, the that's the thing, thing in mobile industry. A lot of uh, retro games are coming back with mobile. Nice. Yeah, that makes sense. Because the audience, in a way, as well, isn't it? They, they'll be like, "Oh, do you remember this?" They're like, so there's some games I used to play in school, even that if I saw some like a new version of it, yeah. it's really very... satisfying to curve the ball here. Yeah, really. yeah I, I, I really used to like. It, it was one of the. I used to find it like really like impressive the control you kind of had when with the curve. So if you really like come across it, you see how it whips to the side. I could come down and then you see it curves up to the air. How, how was the mechanics of this? Was it is it built in yeah, physics and, or? And the the one of the uh, important strengths in uh, prototype programming is that you need to find workarounds because you, you you can't like lose a month to the physics here. Yeah. So I, I yeah I I mimicked physics here. Nice. So uh, what are you just kind of like doing lerps based on the how much the the direction you're going at the point of impact. Kind of, yeah, it starts to go left and then at some point exponentially it loses its speed and starts to turn right. <laughs> it's, it's cool, it's, a, it's an interesting point though, as you said, like you could lose a month do, doing it uh, perfectly or, or more thorough kind of implementation of it, but then yeah, because, this is uh, pretty similar to what that would be like, I guess, right? Indeed, indeed, and it, it comes to first for it, it gets to pass it gets past the video phase right so it looks similar enough yeah yeah and i like how there's there's also the blocks in the back to make it so it's not as easy as just beating the enemy yeah and when when only one is left it's really difficult sometimes and annoying yeah especially since yeah because if you do just like a straight one the enemy blocks it right yeah so it's, uh, but that's the thing with it. It's actually, it's nice to have a different objective other than just to, to beat the enemy. Yeah, that was my idea. They, they didn't, they had a more boring one. Yeah. I, I offered this. 
Nice. I think this this was looking okay as well, and it didn't do that well uh, in the video. I guess they didn't find it interesting to play this type of game. Yeah, or, or maybe that yeah they if they've not seen a game like it before, they don't understand that feel of how good it feels to kill a ball. Yeah, um, <laughs> I mean they they only tested among two hundred people or so. So yeah, yeah, not a great sample size. But, uh, yeah, okay, it's usually good enough, but sometimes it's not. Let's no, um, it's, it's enough for this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's uh, jump on to the next one. Uh, before we go on to day and night, let's not forget we just got uh, <laughs> Stephanie oh. Hadaway. Uh, we are gonna. I, I guess we don't have enough to do these other ones. No, I'll save it. Uh, let's just get a few more seats in our hall as well. Oh, you you have money for concussions? Uh, oh, uh, where is it? Top left. Uh, uh, I cl close this ah. pop-up. Ah, this, right, I see, I see. Okay, so the concessions, let's uh, get some food. Oh my gosh, a whole little area. Look at the ice cream man in his little outfit. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Right, you can get some good quality ice cream as well. Wonderful. Uh yeah, uh this is we we're gonna get a bit more make a bit more money from this. Yep. And upgrade our sh uh this. Nice. We might be able to change show now. Uh shows. Dracula. Yes! We got Dracula going now. Yeah. All right, putting this to the side. Let's go into the next game. Uh, day and night. There is also uh, rotating survival in here. Yeah, that's the old version. Okay, so. okay, that works. Hey, uh, Tabukis, how you doing? The, yeah, the jam went well. We got 16 entries in the end, which is really nice. I had a personally, I had a really nice time with it. I stressed for around one hour on rotations, and other than that, it was a pretty low stress uh, hey, week, hey. which is nice. Hey, Steve, as well. Nice to see you. Um, okay, uh, we are going to go into day and night next. So anyone who's just joining us, we're going through a selection of some of the games that Brainoid made. I remember this one. This has got yeah. spicy trees in it. <laughs> yes, and th this was my spec as well. And it, it did great. I mean, I wasn't expecting too much for it because it's not very uh, hyper casual, right? Uh, and it did really great. Yeah, that's nice to hear. Uh, yeah, just to finish, so I was saying we're going Brainoid probably in the last uh, 18 months has done over 50 games uh, with publishers to try and get them uh, basically prototypes and the publishers would decide whether or not they then want to kind of fund them and get them out in in the to more people. Um, and so we're checking out a selection of those to see the type of things that you was rapidly prototyping. Yeah, so, okay. Uh, drag to move to the highlighted area. Okay, cool. I'm, okay, release your finger to cut when you're close to a tree. Let's collect the wood. Ah, a zombie. Let's get closer and release to attack. Okay, so I, you kind of click, always m click, and then when you release, you'll do your action, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it feels like that. Let's get the coins, of course coins. Now we can get back home. You went to sleep. <laughs> it's almost like you turned into a frog. <laughs> Uh, I was claim or claim times two. Hmm. I mean, this looks better, but I don't know. It is a cylinder you walk on because uh, the mobile didn't like the uh, shader. This is bonus. Yes, this is bonus. <laughs> so okay, so can we go and harvest some rock? Oh, 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 the auto attack! I forgot how good that felt. So do you, was I doing the arrow, bone arrow before on the zombie? Yes. Yeah, I think because it, it, it looked like a, I, I thought it was a melee weapon. That's why I went so close to him. And it felt like I was pickaxing him. Nice. Get me some of this. Okay, this is our day left in the, in the top. Let's go and kill this zombie. Don't know if we have to kill the zombies, but. I mean, so it, like you can see, like the the game kind of controls are very mobile. So it like the attacking, you don't have to aim, you don't have to have different buttons to attack it or to attack. Oh no, we got webbed. Okay, I think we're just gonna stand still and kill this boy because we're webbed. We're not gonna get far. Right, we've got to get back in soon, but 
Can we pick some? Ah, oh, look at this. Picking some berries. Oh, the, crikey, we got to kill more zombies. Okay, kill him. Don't hurt me. We haven't got uh, long. It gets difficult <sighs> at night as well. So <laughs> That sounds like another game I know. <laughs> the alpha <laughs> comes out at night. Like one yeah. true love. <laughs> okay, so i got to get back before... Is it game over if I don't, or is it just it gets difficult? No, 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 it's okay. Okay, cool. I collected more than that this time, surely. Or did I not? Yeah, so this screen I don't quite get. The claim and the claim to... Well, it's a mobile game, so with claim to, you watch a video. Ah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Just because I clicked it first time, nothing happened. Obviously, that's because I'm in this build, right? Up oh, there's things at the bottom. Yeah, I missed it. <laughs> it's too ready to... Right, we're going to focus... Oh, we've got to get spiders this time, not zombies. So I like this. You get different objectives. Um... There's the spiders. We'll, we'll take the we'll take the web for now. That's fine. Yeah, I didn't have the objectives in the first place. Then uh, they said we need to uh, drive the player to something. I agree. Because, because I like, I, I mean, I don't agree uh, uh, normally, but if, for a mobile game, yes, free play is is not working. Sandbox is not there yet. Yeah. For mobile players. Yeah. Oh, we need one more spider to find. I saw one uh, forward ahead, but towards the camera or no, whatever. I mean, I, I, there's delay. Ah, <laughs> uh, but... that's not that's a dead spider, I think, over there. Uh, there's one. There's one. Okay. It's kind of like the old MMO. Um controls of like you take your attack and then you run on your attack cooldown or sort of thing it has quite a nice feel in that sense by 3d program are you asking the modeling software uh because most of these uh models were oh, made by uh spaces 3d uh for another ludum Dario game we made together me dan and spacey <laughs> okay so i can upgrade my weapon I can go to like a knife, can I? Dagger. Yeah, dagger throwing, I guess. Okay, <laughs> no. okay. It's oh, you never, can... never Terminus. melee. Play cast upgrade. Oh, that's, that's the stuff I'm collecting, right? Get okay, max HP. <laughs> upgrade our little wood hut. Uh, okay. No, that's cool. I get the idea of it. I, I, I noticed how much harder it got in the e in the night. Then, by the way. Uh, I. Like they they take a lot more damage and they all start swarming you, which is cool. Mm -hmm. So we'd need to get this. That's nice environment art, said Spacey in the chat. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I got my throwing knife now. So I throw yeah, him faster, but it, faster, but yeah. not enough damage, I guess. No, until I upgrade it. Oh, I yeah, like this. Or or you have some critical upgrades Ooh. and knife makes more sense, right? <laughs> Yeah, because you're hitting more often, right? Yeah. So more chance to get your proc. I guess it's it's critical is already higher than the other weapons. Yeah, yeah. So oh, eating is directly tied uh, tied to your health, I guess, right? Yeah. Yes. Nice, nice. I like <laughs> it. I like it. It's like it's it's a you can keep going it uh, quite easily. I like that every mission has been different. It's not like kill a different type of enemy each time as well, which is nice. It's but, um, getting darker. Yeah, I'm going to close it to switch to uh, the next okay. one. We've got draw bridges next. <laughs> draw bridge. And then draw bridges. I better be able to draw bridges in this. Mm -hmm. Okay, road. We can, we've got one road. Let's build. This is a weird game. Okay, they made it across. Is this the weight or like the color of it? Seems like maybe related to yes. Uh, so the the integrity of it actually when when they walk on it. Oh, the structural integrity of it. Right. Okay. So maybe yeah. The materials left. Can I keep? It's, I think it's because I had one long one last time, right? Potentially, the builders are happy. Feels like I'm doing the builders for building forum. Okay, so this this. 
Ah, uh, and then you can change the support. Like that. Okay, okay, that, that, that's fair. So, uh, how did you calculate the uh, kind of integrity of it? If yeah, you remember. I, I didn't want it to be too complex because then it, it would be really difficult to design levels around it, so... Uh... Yeah. I like how it gave you clues to, oh, we, we're not, what about this side, Dan? If if the road is touching to any uh, <laughs> rock or something, it, it, it'll it have some base integrity going on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's like lemmings. It's definitely yeah. that nice that element to it. Oh, there's another bit of road I didn't even realize. Uh, also, the colors here, you need to kick off. I don't know which one is selected. Yeah. Uh, unless I click on it. Okay, so let's just get a bit of integrity there, and then we're going to go for this here. We need to support it like that. I like uh, it. Yeah. The longer the road, the less integrity it has, so you could you could go for shorter roads. As well. Right, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, you keep slipping off the rope. Don't yeah. do that. A little RNG element to it. Yeah, it, well, when it's a physics game, they expect to have some RNG fun in it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, RNG is, is good, though, isn't it? Because, so it's not the exact same strat every time. Uh, okay, so is this fan dangerous? Or is it no. going to blow my enemy, uh, my characters? It, it will help you to um, get... Oh, to the other side. it might be uh, one of these. Oh, how am I going to support that, though? Guess that works. That's too... Vertical, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to with with some slope, they get slowed down, right? Ah, uh, right. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't know whether it was gonna like blow them up if they went off it, whether it'd float them across. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh gosh. Ah, oh. farewell, builders. You are not destined to live. Also, one side of the support should also uh, touch a rock or something. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I, so I realized they can actually climb on that. I didn't know that. So we could, should be able to support that. And this just needs to be a nice short one there. <laughs> this will fail as, as well, I guess. Oh, no. Uh, we'll see, maybe not. Oh. Why didn't they like my... Uh-oh. I mean, whatever. It might It might do. Yeah, maybe. Go. The noises are satisfying. Speed run. Here we go. Yeah, I really like the, the kind of lemmings element to it. Cool. Okay. Uh, for the sake of it, this this is probably I'd probably mess up as well. But we'll we'll keep uh, going through. We got to upgrade our theater as well. We've got a new star. We need to uh, increase the ticket booth speed, uh, which means we need more seats. Uh, uh, hall seats. Oh man, we got a ton of money now, and probably get a second tilt uh, person now. Did you try yeah. hold, holding the upgrade button? Yes. When you, sorry, you did say, and I just ignored it the second time. My mistake. So we can go here if I hold it. Do you only have one toilet cabin, by the way? Maybe. What's it to you? This is my place, my theater. I'm just judging you. <laughs> yeah, you are, clearly. Look, I love the shows. This is so fun. This is so yeah, fun. I, I have a lot of effort to put it in it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the appreciation. No, they make a difference though, isn't it? And you need something a little bit like that. To, um, oh, I remember you doing, making this one. Uh, yeah, you need little details like that, I feel, to, to make uh, like these idle games feel a bit more engaging as well. So the light bulbs to the sockets. So, okay, so anyone will do. Too fast. Oh, I'm meant to just go. Yeah, okay, don't go too far. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, so I, I'm trying to work out what the. So if I just go straight up like that, is that going to smash into it? Oops. Does that hit the. Yeah, it does. Okay. 
So you kind of got to bounce it off that, I'd imagine. Oh, okay, it goes to it if it's close enough. And um, when you get the green, it gets rid of the green platforms. Uh, okay, okay. But then, I guess, yeah, if we do that, it'll be close enough. Nice. But your puzzle. Uh-oh. We do like a puzzle. It's a bit odd with the person throwing giant, <laughs> yeah. giant light bulbs. But that is such a, like, I could imagine seeing this on a, on a, sorry, on a, a game, on an advert for a game. It very much has that odd aesthetic that yeah. <laughs> feels yeah. a bit wrong. But yeah, yeah the, the moment the publisher saw the, the aesthetics I'm going for, uh, they, they were excited. <laughs> it's so <laughs> silly. Okay, we got wind mechanics. We got wind mechanics. Yeah, and, and I think they are really Oops. satisfying, the wind mechanics. I like how it, you catch it again, even if, it, if yeah. it, it's not enough. I think that's a nice um, aspect <laughs> of it. Nice. I win. Ah, oh, they're moving. Sorry, I'm not going far enough here. There you go. Too fast. Not enough. Okay, green. Yellow. Blue, I mean. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Yellow. Uh, the rope is Obi rope. Is that uh, like library. a library? Yeah. yeah. Oh, of course, it's too fast. I don't learn from my mistakes. Brain knows this. <laughs> there we go. We got him. Ah, oh, and then it combines the mechanics. Okay, we see. Uh, well, we'd need to probably get this one. <laughs> so did that yellow one make the yellow thing yes. appear that time? Okay, so it's kind of yeah. inverted that time. Oh, my God. It has razor blades. I mean... Oh, yeah. It's good, though, because it gives you a way to lose in a different way. Yeah, I'll get this, and then we call it. I'll move to the next one. Oh! Okay. Thankfully, we... Oh, I was going to say we have infinite light bulbs. We don't. I only just realized. <laughs> oh, the scissors. Oh, uh, scissors are important, man. Uh, if you... Oh! Uh... <laughs> Oh, you did? I found out what the scissors did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get yourself... Don't knock so, the scissors. So, yeah. You have to block the scissors first. Genius puzzle. Oh, oh so... It, uh, okay, so now that I've blocked it with the blue, I should hopefully... Oh, no. Oh, no. Light bulb! No. <laughs> Uh, okay, and then we can go over here and get this. Crikey, those scissors well, were menacing. You were you were supposed to. Yeah, we're uh, ending. Stop playing. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Next game. Next game. Idol Theater. We've got Jigsaw Duel. Let's have a little look at this one. Please ask Elisha if a bulb needs. Oh, oh, you just remind me. I do need to go and buy a bulb actually. Okay, so Jigsaw. Ah. <gasps> Oh, this is one of your leaps. Oh, that felt so good. <laughs> it's that satisfaction of a jigsaw piece slotting in. I got a feeling yeah. um, uh, X-Wing XX would like this one. Okay, so I'm doing a duel against uh, a random person from South Africa. Oh, it's a, is it like a race then? Yeah. Oh, hang on. I didn't. Hold on. Am I dragging? I forgot the controls. Yeah, I'm dragging. You just learned. Yeah, I know, but I, I was moving with the mouse movement. It, with, if you have a finger on the screen, I think you, you're more aware of how much you've dragged. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, Binks. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, Binks. Okay, so an arrow up to the, there is around halfway. Look at all the sad faces I'm getting. Come on. Oh, that felt good. Get in there. Yeah. Oh, he's you got can, a two streak. Yeah, you can also hit his. Oh, okay. Okay, let's uh, let's have a look at that. I'll try. <laughs> it will eventually happen. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got him. Oh no, too hard. He's got one already. Come on. 
Yeah, I love watching this game. No! No! Oh, he's gonna win if I'm not careful. I don't block. And you're you're trying the wrong piece and the wrong. Oh, place. I only I didn't even realize there's pieces in that sense. I, yeah, that didn't get turned. <gasps> there are three three different versions. Okay, that makes sense now. Why one of them went the right pace but didn't? Oh, I think I. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I've gone the wrong one. Which one have I got? Uh, this one. Okay. Oh. Uh. Stop it! No, I don't. I thought I was pushing him in. Uh. Which one am I going for? I need the this one. Ah, oh, too much. No, we got it. I lost. How disgraceful! Yeah, that one's super satisfying. Like yeah. this is. I, I think what's nice about this is you get an AI, so there's a sense of like urgency as well. Um. Like, which makes drama, which makes each game feel a little different as well, mm -hmm. which is nice. And the fact, uh, and the jigsaw, like, point, there's there's two purposes to the jigsaw part of it, right? Which is the, um, oh, did he just take that? Oh no, it's over there. It's it's one you gotta you can't just go for any slot, but two is that satisfying feeling. Oh, what's that? That one's got points. I don't think I got the right thing for it though. No, I haven't. No. Oh, has he won again? He has. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I like yeah, it though. Move on. Yeah, yeah. I would play more, but we we got uh, probably still another six games or so to go. So, uh, nest cleaner is the next one. Ah, uh, another of my specs, and I <laughs> love this one. Oh yes, I remember. This was um. Similar, oh, you, you, you linked me something on, on Newgrounds or something that, that you felt this inspired or something. I can't yeah. remember. Mm -hmm. Amorphous. Yeah, so you basically, so what I'm doing now, you just click to move around, and when I release, I attack. Yep. I, like, I can imagine this being popular slash satisfying. Uh, based on a, a wider demographic, maybe like uh, younger boys as well. Yeah, I if mean, you just run around uh, and slash stuff. I, I think it needs. Uh, another character like a more a character with more pers personality <laughs> rather than a right, oh yeah demand. yeah rather than your yeah it, it's difficult because if you choose if you uh, choose a character then you're you're potentially alienating some of your audience as well but it's but yeah you're right if it's too generic oh quick hang on well, it, this is this is not so oh exciting enemy there. Uh, I, I enjoy the ones that don't die in one. That's cool. I got... Oh, do I, I have to hit it, probably. No? Do you just walk into it? What's this got? What's a gold thing? You receive it at the end of ah, the... Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> you keep running into cactuses. <laughs> Did the cactus hurt me? Yes, you're... <laughs> uh, I, I did. To be, I wasn't processing it. Oh, my bad. Uh, okay, different. Lemon slow resistance, great. I won't get slowed by those nasty slimy boys. I love the teleporting effect. Like, mm. <laughs> I use the lens distortion thing. It looks really good. Is that the lemons? Is that lemons? So That's when you kill the lemon. Oh no, it's not. That's lava. It's... Okay, yeah, that hurt. Let's not go for that. Oh, it's a chunkers. Okay, so the red ones drop lava. Oh, man. Yeah, it gets manic quite quick, doesn't it? Uh, that big one uh, is formed from the smaller ones touching each other. It has a chance to become oh, that. Oh, nice. Yeah, once there was a lot of enemies there, it did feel like, oh, crikey, i got to be careful. Yeah, uh, so that's nice. Types of enemies in this one gets really uh, weird. Uh, in the further levels. <laughs> we got a hat though. It's really fun. Well, you'll only be able to wear that hat once you die, I guess. Ah. Uh. Uh, increase my speed. Let's go through the warp tunnel. Whoop! <laughs> Alright, we'll do one more level. Let's go. Uh, 
Well, on next five or six, there's a boss, I guess. I oh, okay, no, we can. Uh oh, if I, I'm on five health. Yeah. Maybe he won't do it unless I really stop running into cactuses. I have three different worlds in this game as well. Like... <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, the purple ones. They they spit out a uh, small. Oh yeah, and yeah. Stick on you and slow you. <laughs> Oh no, there's the, the more two big ones. Oh, ah, keep moving, yeah, keep moving. That's manic. <laughs> I think I could attack. <gasps> I thought that purple thing hit me then. Yeah, we made it. Okay. Short sure, stand hit through walls, increase speed. Increase speed. One health. That's all we got. Uh oh, lava boy. We should have done it not in the middle. Oh, the, uh, yeah, the hit through walls would be handy. There's blues as well. Oh, I don't know what oh, blues, blues do. Oh, blues are the scariest ones. They uh -oh. leap on you. <gasps> oh, crikey. Thanks for the follow, by the way. I'm on one hit till I die, and I want to get to the. Oh, they make a noise too! It's like a horror film! Oh, look at their mouths, Brain! What did you do? Why would you do this? All the, the enemy variety is great. Yeah. Oh, the noise is <laughs> scary. Okay, boss time. Uh, heal. Yes! Uh, it's not much of a heal, man. I said, hey, it means I can hit him more than once, hopefully. The boss will kill you with one hit anyways. Oh, blast. Oh, uh, it's not boss, sorry. Will it be it's next level? Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's but... okay. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, you'll die. It's more of if I make it. No! Oh. <laughs> I get confused because my mouse is on the screen. And I think it's going to go where my mouse is, which is not... When the blue ones are too close to you, they cannot leap properly, so oh. you're sometimes safe and you die. Yeah. He leapt uh, on me and he took me down 30 health in one bite. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Look at my outfit. <laughs> uh, and flip-flops. Oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, shame. I wanted to see the boss. Oh, uh, these are cool. Um... What have we got you next? Can play it later. Yeah, play it in I'm your. I'm asking you to delete these files. That's after. true. <laughs> but I'd rather play it when it's on a mobile thing, so it goes towards your stats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. So, so charge move uh, to the this, highlighted area. In, in this spec, I had uh, some references to what? It, what was the name of that Marvel character? Uh, the actor died. Of oh, Black Panther. Yeah, Black Panther. So That's he not... has a suit uh, that charges with getting taking damage, right? Okay. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I've not yeah. actually seen it. <laughs> yeah. So I can see my suit charge going up. All right. So now uh, release your finger when next to an enemy right. to attack. Holy smokes. Yeah, so, yeah it's fully <laughs> charged. So. Yeah. Oh, and when there's a lot of them, that helps. Mm -hmm. So I got to use the person I'm protecting. I, want, I need to absorb so all they, of these. They, they take cover automatically. And I can't kill them with the blast. Uh -huh. And you can pu uh, punch as well. Uh, uh, what, just through releasing if I'm not fully charged next yeah. to an enemy, is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a fun concept. Absorb the bullets. No. Yeah! <laughs> and you also break the cover, so you have to be careful. Oh no, okay, we just need to kill him fast. No, don't die! Oh. Right, can I just punch him normally? Yeah. Oh, so it uses a little bit of your charge, right? Yes. And only hits one or two. Yeah, but it's, when you've got one left, it is a sensible thing to do, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's actually quite a fun mechanic. I like it. 
It is, and it's 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 also nice that you see the cover breaking one by one. Yeah, like it's made up of tiny little bricks. Yeah, like a I breakout think... almost. Mm -hmm. I think the main the main thing that's difficult for me is the controls. Yeah, because it, it, like if I was using WSAD, it would uh, it'd be even better. <laughs> well, sure. But mobile friendly, isn't it? That's what's great about, uh, as you're saying, like building up a framework, you can get these like mobile joystick controls feeling right for a third person kind of perspective thing. Ah, uh, what's the, yes. yeah, is that, is this a strong boy? I get, does he just take more hits? Yeah, I guess two hits. <laughs> well, not when I'm doing one of those. Yeah, no, not with the fully charged explosion. All right, take me on. I'm going to stand still. I guess well, I have one more type of enemy that has rocket launcher or something. <gasps> All right, Let's see if it's on the next level. No, I, I don't know really. No, it may not be. All right, for the sake of time, I just saw the time. We will we'll move, we'll move to the next one. Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, Ruin Road is the next one. It's a stupid game, but... <laughs> uh, people saying in chat, I uh, really appreciate the visual polish that all of these games have as well. Oh, <gasps> thanks. I mean, they're all made in one or two weeks, so... Hold on. Okay. Okay. It auto drives. Oh, I think I. Re oh, okay. I'm skidding. I need to get used to those controls. Splash water on all pedestrians. That's what I'm meant to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> so the spec name of this uh, game was uh, Asshole Drifter. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. One. I love how it finishes as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. To win it to hit the car. I don't know if I... Uh, yeah, it's a bit harder to control because it, it takes a while to turn and you don't really know how long it's going to take. Oh, yeah, like that's far too much. Let's try it's and go towards it a bit more. Sure. Like, don't worry about me running and over as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're not getting angry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so silly that ender scene. Le. There's boxes. A box is good. Oh, we gotta just make them mad. So what? Do we just drive yeah. through their boxes? Yeah. Yeah, I should have done that. Mario. Keep going. Keep going. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, stick you guys. Drive into <laughs> your boxes all day. Yeah, and that yellow car that goes flying. <laughs> it's so dumb. I guess the downside is the repetitive level, right? But it's uh, yeah. that's what you have with prototyping as well, right? I think it was enough for the videos. Yeah, of course, of course. And that, that show, I think that is an interesting perspective, isn't it? If you're, you're building a game up on what you can... Does it look interesting enough to... I mean, by, by the way, I think, honestly, it was a difficult uh, spec, this one. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is what I came up with. Oh, look, you see, I'm getting it now. It's just yes. that it took a little bit of time to, to like, get yeah, the mechanic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no! I missed them! Yeah, this Shit. one is difficult. Shame, shame, shame. Uh, Rune Road, we've done Shrinky Car. we got Sneaky Dunk, Suck and Run, Sumo Arms, Vacuum Cubes, and Wet Race left. So let's uh, smash through these quickly. Uh, yep. Sneaky Dunk. Let's go. But yeah, it's really nice. I, like, I think... Oh, I forgot this one. The arm. <laughs> <laughs> the arm. <laughs> uh, no, I, I just think it's interesting that, like, I love how, like, compact these ideas are and people looking to make their own games it'd be nice to start thinking smaller you know yeah so the the fun fun fact here is that uh <laughs> the arm and the hand are uh different meshes and you see the seam between them so i, I need to uh use that bracelet <laughs> <laughs> They're like a wristband it. Yeah, I wristband, sorry. Okay, so I'm moving around at the moment, bouncing a ball, and then when I get in the zone, I go up, I shoot, and I score. 
<laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, there's no players. Well, I'm going to go around you. Ah. Uh... <laughs> it's the most silly. It's just, I love the silliness of it. And look how giant this player is. Can they, so they do tackle you, or is it just a, an obstruction? They do tackle you. Okay, okay. I saw them go for it. <laughs> Give me one sec. Yeah, sure. Shevsky is so deep. All right, well, we're going to get one more dunk. You can see the sensitivity on, like, PC makes it a bit harder. I'm like, I am going around quite a bit, but... Oh, I missed the for the first time. And you saw that uh, you made a uh, left and right, left and right move, and yeah. you broke his ankles once. Oh, did I? <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, like, if you go smooth, the arm looks nicer. It's just because I'm drastically moving with the... Yeah. Oh, this level's definitely harder. I'm going to stop failing well, my dunk. you have to go up earlier. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to get around him, then go up. Yep. Uh, right, suck and run. I've seen this one as well. Uh... Because of the name I remember. That it wasn't a a, a, a less family friendly code name for this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Hold on. I, I hold on. I gotta think what was happening. So, I vacuum things up, and then I shoot them. Yeah. Okay. I click and hold to shoot. Uh, okay. Do I shoot on the floor to? Hmm. Can I just shoot? Can I shoot? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can build floor. I thought I built... Oh, no, it's missing one row. Oh, so that's what the yellow is. I thought it was wood, but it's like uh, tiles that need filling. That makes sense. Yeah, you learn it in yeah, the second yeah. try. Yeah. Nice. Are these floor bits? Oh, you get extra points for building up more at the end as well. I like that. So it's not just get to the end. <laughs> yeah, oh. they they really care about that ending bit. That that feel good, like you, yeah. I guess it's that getting oh. something, getting points, or mm -hmm. I I keep pressing click to suck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I tried the inverted controls. It was even harder. So. Yeah. Now, like I don't I. I, I've looked at it. Uh, like I'll talk to you after the stream, but I I don't understand. Um, surely that should be up to you, not me. Is my my what I'd say. Okay. Okay, that's enough for this one. Is it though? Oh yeah, it is. I hit a block. Okay. Sumo arms. It's time. Oh, this game is super stupid. Yes. So, have you ever wondered what it'd be like if the arms of sumos could be in customizable shapes? <laughs> so, if we draw this as an arm shape, like it's hinting that we do, and then we hold the button to wrestle, <laughs> and then they just, they, they go towards each other swinging those arms. <laughs> oh, I have stamina, so, okay, good, he, he swung himself out. So this is a racing one now, so we need to think what would be a good racing. Uh, In this one, you can change your arm on the way, I guess. Oh, do I need to, though? Look, at, oh, yeah, you might do it at one point. I thought I got a good, a good little claw mechanism going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how it's my arms. Uh-oh. Oh, I love... Okay, so... Okay, we got. I don't. I didn't feel like it should have worked. Oh, he beat me! Look at his little weird. His little. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for wheelie arms this time. We've seen them. Ah, oh, it's almost identical to his. 
he changes. Yeah, it's all right. We, we know when to change. We lost a lot of time last time at the wall. Is this going to do it for us? Oh, it does. He's got... Uh oh, we need smaller, smaller legs now. Smaller, come on, no, <laughs> touch the floor, no. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Um, this one was fine for most things. I'd love if uh, it'd be cool if the enemy copies like some of the ones you've done as well. <laughs> yeah. Force young version me. Oh. Oh. This may have been a mistake. Okay, no, no, we got there. We got there now. Smaller arms. Yeah, come on, climb. <laughs> it's such a stupid looking game. I love it. All right, now we need to wrestle. Uh oh. Ah. This, this wrestling bit is too RNG, man. I mean. I think well, the, the nice thing is you can wait and you press it when you're at an angle, ready to push yeah. them out. So there is, it feels like there is strategy. <laughs> but um, it doesn't always work. It's weird. <laughs> choo choo! <laughs> oh, snail arms. Yeah, that's for you, book snail. <laughs> oh, come on, get up, get up there. Gonna lose it. Oh, no, no, no. Now we need small arms. Here we go. Here we go. Small arms. Big arms again now. We got space. Get some spikes. Get over these. Okay, now the fast front crawl. Come on. Come on. Big spiky claw. I did it the wrong way, but it worked. I elbowed my way up. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Come yeah, on, elbow strange. friend. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, again, for example, here uh, again, the the physics are the fun factor, and the RNG of the physics. Sorry, one sec. I've just understood what that was meant. Okay, of course, I'm having fun just watching the idle animation of the sumo. Uh, let's see. All right. Cubes and wet race. Okay. Uh, which is this the fight? Okay, this is the fight. Uh, let's go for. We can. We can also move on. Now. Uh, do you think I'm not enjoying this? Uh, no, it's not that. Ah, uh, I somehow I beat him because he just went past me. <laughs> That's so uh, funny. Yeah. Zorro. It's just something so satisfying. It's the racing is much better, right? I feel um, the the fighting is is like the idea, but then you realize that. Yeah, so I, I I spent like a week and made the fighting, and they said we also want racing. <laughs> what? I mean, uh, that's that's literally another game. Yeah. Have you seen that um, coevolution? Um, yeah video where they're like the little block creatures fight each other in that yes, yes yeah i saw that in uni that was one of the main things that kind of like insp got me super excited about ai and um smaller arms this reminds me so much of that swim might be pretty all right big claw time actually no this is a weird knee running <laughs> something so odd about it i like I'll get a bit more speed. Get a bit more speed. We got this. All right, good. Okay. Uh, Salix, how's it going today? Right, uh, we need to go to... Uh, we got three more games, I think. Two more games. Oh, no, hang on. Vacuum Cube. Did I do that already? No. Oh, it's different to su uh, Suck and Run. It should be different. It's a more chill, chill game. It, it's an experience than... than oh, oh, yes, I remember this. Step one, hold the vacuum. Release them there. <laughs> yeah, you can see how this would be satisfying for some people, right? Oh, and it built a cactus! <laughs> yeah, 
It's a discovery game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, is this gonna be, it better be a carrot. I like if you can guess what it is before you even... Okay, it must be yeah. full, right? So... You better... Did you use my carrot model? I bet you didn't. I don't think I did. From Blood Barn. It was a classic. <laughs> uh, I guess I did, by the way. <laughs> oh, it is, do you think? Uh-oh. Uh, when did you look? Oh, you did! <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> oh, look at this, it's love! Oh, but I need to get out somehow. Oh, I feel like some of my cubes have gone out of the map. <laughs> so they... Yeah, this is, this is challenging. So I got them all up and then I need to somehow get them up. Yeah. So there's a door there. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know that. That. <laughs> yeah. I can see it now that you pointed it out. I don't know. They asked for weird levels. So <laughs> I yeah. It's something like this. I don't know if it got bugged or what. It, it works. It just wasn't clear that I could go through there. I yeah, guess that's the right. only thing. Oh, we need to let it all out. Right, we'll get this heart filled and then we'll uh, go on to the final game. I don't know if it will work though. <laughs> Some cubes. Oh. Well, I, I don't know. I think it, I, it's, feeling, it's feeling good. Yeah, I guess yeah. They, they came back. Look at that. Love! Would this be cherries? Oh, no, melon! Oh, Spacey would like this one. Thanks, snail. <laughs> Watermelon for Spacey if you're still in chat. Uh, I feel since it was Melon Day on the 8th of August. Yeah. This is a, a perfect tribute. Okay, right. Uh, we'll go to the last one quickly. Uh, so the final one is then Wet Race. I remember this is just a probably around a third of the games that Brain had made in a year and a half. <laughs> okay, so we go left and right. Oh, yeah, it's a slide. Okay. Uh, I guess in wet race water is good. Oh, we released a squirt. Oh, okay. We are sponges. Okay, I get it. I get it. I think I think I do anyway. But you've got to click to... <laughs> I love how you go wring out your sponge at the end. Like you said, it is something that's important. Uh, I yeah. think... Yeah, you, you have to hold to turn as well. So you kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. So, to other other people's water, do you fill up on that as well? No. Uh, I was gonna say that that'd be a great like catch up mechanic. <laughs> yeah. All right, get it, get all the water, all the water, and sponge. <laughs> oh, it's just funny. Okay, go. Oh, he's out in front. No one's going to catch him. Come on. Uh, when, when you're dashing, you can <gasps> also go, go into puddles to uh, grow and like keep a... Uh, a higher what? Retain water, is it? Yeah, I... so it, it's a combo. Like, I, Hang on, yeah, I need to see how that works. So, I'm in it. Oh, I can just not use it. Oh. But I go slower the more water I've got, I guess, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. Does it use it all when you burst? Yeah, until yeah. you click again. Ah. Uh, I... Oh, wow, yeah, I didn't quite realize the control properly. Yeah, it's a tricky one. <laughs> but it is fun. I mean... <laughs> It has a satisfaction factor. Oh, is it where you finish in the race is based on how high you go at the end as well? Yeah. Ah, see, I thought I was trying to time my burst for that, but really I just need to be racing for the line, don't I? Oh, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. I, I, I didn't get that creative at the end. 
Oh, I'm finding it hard to catch up now. We need to get... Oh, I missed the water. That's not helping. Go. Oh, I went through the squishers. That is not going to help. <laughs> oh, that dear. effect I like as well. I mean, getting squished. Well, it looks like another sixth place multiplier for us. Ooh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> lovely. Well, I think that does conclude. We, uh, we, we'll just finally have a little check. We won't go and level things up due to time. And four theater games like this. <laughs> nice. Yeah, 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 <laughs> indeed, indeed. Uh, you can see some similarities between some, but different enough to to yeah, yeah. have a different experience. But it, it it also shows how you could probably build them quite quick when you you can draw similar concepts from others. Like the camera position in some of them is the same, so you can tell that elements of that have been reused. Or if there's a track, uh, like a real a... quick, I could I couldn't send you the two that uh, that were uh, the more most successful. Yeah, sure, uh, go ahead. Uh, these are the videos for this. Yeah, we'll have a little look at these now. Oh, I've clicked one of them. Okay, so a race and shoot. Yeah, this this had a uh, very good CPI, but I mean, I the retention was low. You can guess this is a boring game. <laughs> right. Well, so you think like uh, it looked fun, but once they played it, they didn't want to keep playing it. Is that how you would sum that up? Is it? Yes. Yeah. So it's, so I get the the idea is it's it's almost like a, a element of is it elements of fall guys with the like the obstructions too or less so or is it just it's shoot just everything timing actually right yeah yeah so every time you shoot you slow down right but you'll shoot in that lane ahead of you yeah, yeah. you have to shoot at some point yeah uh, yeah yeah nice nice okay and then the second one. Yeah, the other one was my spec again. Oh, did I click on the same one twice, or did you link the uh, same or, one twice? Uh, no, 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 I got it. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, this was an odd concept. This one, I remember. Yeah, and it did really good. So didn't you? Was it you had to break down the? Or did you have to get the Lego pieces? I can't quite remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break down other people's pieces, then make your own here. <laughs> so, so that person's building a flower, and you keep stealing it and breaking it down. Or are you making no, no, that flower? No, it's, it's it, you're helping it make, make ah, the flower. Ah, okay. So you break down like that bed to get pieces, and yeah, then you go and help the hand make whatever. Yeah, it if, is. if there's like not enough uh, Lego pieces there, and one is carrying, and you try to uh, get one with that hand, yeah. you, you get get it from their their hand, and they fall down. <laughs> I even <laughs> implemented that. <laughs> It's such an obscure idea, isn't it? Yeah, it's... it is. <laughs> so, like, those two were the more successful in terms of, like, uh, being close to being... Yeah, the, they were really about to release those. Yeah, yeah. And it's very interesting. It, it's good to see. And it's been good to see, like, the, the range of, uh, of games that you had with us today. Uh, and, uh, you can understand how different they are as well from each other. Like, one is a racing game and one is a more chilled game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I think the, the the those two in particular at the end seem very different. Uh, but I, I think it also does. They still fall into some form of niche that uh, is embedded within the mobile market. I'd say right. But I, I think that the niches tend to come from like the way you control it. Is it like something you're constantly interacting with, or is it something that you you kind of watch in and you contribute little by little? Uh, I, I guess as you said, it's like the chill. It, there's different like. Whether you want people to be stressed or, or on edge, or whether you want it to be just a mindless thing or a, a relaxation sort of thing. So I, um, I have a question for you. Go ahead. Uh, do you think, uh, like playing all these things and seeing them, do you think it justifies the uh, my my uh, my intentions for going for uh, for huge scope games <laughs> like these? Yeah. Are... <laughs> yes. Because you, <laughs> yes, okay, I, I think it does, because you don't often get to go for huge scope in these, right? Yeah. So when a game jam comes along, you actually get to try and do a bit more of a, a I'm going to make game. the biggest game in the world <laughs> <laughs> in that three makes, days. That does make sense. I'll make Elisha watch this VOD and so she understands why Brain is yeah. is always up for the, the huge scope game. I hope she watches game. because I ap apologize to her. <laughs> 
Uh, right. Um, so thank you, uh, Brain, for coming on. It was uh, it was nice for me personally, actually, to hear more about uh, how you got to where you are and the the general process and uh, at what points you made decisions to to go ahead and try things out. And and I think one of the most uh, kind of the things I learned, I guess, most was just the that that process you kind of go through where it's kind of making a you make a game that would look good in a video you hope that it looks interesting enough that a publisher will go yeah 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 okay we want that and then you would flesh it out more after that and if they don't want it then there's other publishers who might want it as well i found that bit interesting um and yeah, by the way i i still receive mails from publishers every day all oh, right <laughs> interested in what other games that you have out there is it yeah so do you find that some of them's ever that some of those ever turn into like a bit of trickle income for you yeah, I never answer them anymore. <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> is it uh, how come you don't answer? Them? Is it because you just feel that it'll be effort that won't turn into money? Or uh, yeah, and I cannot answer the same emails every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. But, uh, um, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure they're not expecting an uh, answer from from all their emails. They're just trying. Yeah, they kind of blanket send out to a bunch of things that yeah. has potential, right? Uh -huh. so, yeah. But uh, yeah, okay. Well, thank you again. Uh, we've, we've hit three hour mark as well. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll wrap up now just because uh, yeah, we need to. It's meant to be a yeah. two hour thing. But uh, yeah, first off, thanks for uh, being a guest and chatting on the show as well. Uh, secondly, thank you for packaging up all those games or finding them and, and getting them over in a zip for me so we could try a bunch of them. Uh, it was good. And it was actually nice to be able to kind of like chat to you during it because normally we're playing one main game uh and i like to try and do that without chatting so it's been nice to hang out as well uh and people in chat i hope you also get, enjoyed getting to see a variety of of games and and seeing maybe a different aspect of game dev that isn't the the kind of typical kind of side we typically see in these um yeah, game devs of twitch featured game sections as well uh, uh, i'll say one last thing before i leave um, mm -hmm. After uh, watching the intro of my uh, gem entry, <laughs> you you'll want the same thing for the rest of our games <laughs> from now on. Oh, what for the intro? Yeah. Okay, I'm look I'm I'm looking forward. Yeah, I'm 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 hopefully gonna be checking out the them on the weekend. I think that's most likely at the moment. But um, oh, did you get yeah. there before me? Oh no, no, no I no, didn't. I, I didn't. <laughs> I was I was going to the. <laughs> Um, so uh, if anyone so, who isn't following Brainoid already do follow him on Twitter his link is there um, if you've got a YouTube or whatever Brainoid you're welcome to link it in chat but uh, it sounded like I'm you have not... six <laughs> so maybe not I'm not very active uh, on them so yeah, okay uh, they can sure that's, uh, that's fair that's fair but uh, all right uh, uh, let's go and find someone to raid uh, Brainoid you're welcome to jump off um, thank you okay. very much for your time good sir bye bye farewell chat say thank you to Brainoid have a good one, mate.